Come on, man. Good morning. Hi. Happy Tuesday day. Happy Tuesday day. I thought today was going to, I thought, I thought we did it. I thought we did it. I was so happy. Steel Toe wins again. Steel Toe wins again. I thought we had him on three strikes. Uh, last night, a bunch of our members who I guess reported them for their flagrant and continuous use of the N word. Uh, they had their content pulled down and it looked like they weren't going to go live this morning, but what do you know? They are going to go live on YouTube this morning. So clearly they have not been, uh, struck. Because they are on their uh, third chance. If they get one more strike within the next, I don't know, couple months. Hasta la vista pasta. You know what I mean? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the show. Spread the word. Tell a friend. Hit the like button. Grab a pool guy. Send in a voice chat. Tell an aunt or uncle what you're into. Grab a clean bath. Scratch your back. Eat a fruit roll up. Grab a neighbor. Swing a hammer. He didn't get arrested, somebody said. (laughs) He didn't get arrested? What are we going to do, huh? I don't even know. Uh, Welcome. I don't know what to start with today. I really thought we'd have some celebration of a banning of some sort. Oh, boy. Corn Diff says YouTube's afraid to take them down because they've got so much clout on, on, on the rumble. They've got so much clout on the rumble. Clock is ticking on steel toe so what you were saying is we should so what are you saying we should do about steel toe i don't know um i can't say anything or else carl from wat podcasts will run around and tell everybody i'm trying to get a man arrested um which is utter tomfoolery i can't imagine think i can't imagine being so dumb I don't know. Here's the thing is, I don't know if he was like being sarcastic, like he understands I wasn't trying to get somebody arrested, but he's just using arrested as a placeholder for in trouble, or he actually thinks I think they get arrested. Hey, were you guys running an illegal lottery? Hands behind your back. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. 32,000 views on rumble. Yeah. I mean, but it's like one comment. If you want to see rumble, let's go look at steel toes, rumble numbers, rumble numbers. All right. Go to steel. Keep typing steel, yo. Steel 
just out of curiosity here. Um, 1.49 thousand views, one comment, 34 thumbs up. Just to give you um, a comparison, this show already has almost 34 likes. We've been on for four minutes. So their whole show, 34 likes, 1,400 views. 3,000 views, 120 likes. 800 views, 28 likes. Zero comments, one comment, zero comment, one comment, zero comment, zero comment, zero comments, one comment, three comments, one comment. So where are the numbers? None of these numbers make any sense. And that's what we're here to prove today. And we're going to be taking down everybody's uh, life. Yeah, I do got everybody up on the wall today. I got the, I got uh, the ghost of Mr. P and everyone's dead everyone. That's what I put. I just put the ghost of everyone's dead everyone because he keeps changing it. We got Savannah Marie Crumb on the wall. Onion, do you like peaches in the summer? I don't like being called onion in the summer. That's what I don't like. So why don't you mind your own business? Uh, the Rumble Guts are rocking to the beat. How many views do they have before going live today? Good point. So many lives before they go live. You know, what I mean? so many likes before they go live. All right, can we do a, maybe we'll try to catch their theme song this morning live and see what they say about their, they definitely had a video struck last night or taken down. I guess they didn't get a strike because then they wouldn't be doing a show, but they definitely had a video taken down. Um, I do know that. Is our AI system working today? Do we have all our voices in attendance? Silly Melton, I know you're pre-coming over the thought of losing our channel, but you can't stop me. I'll fucking stream everywhere. Facebook, Kick, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, Pluto TV, MySpace, 86.9 FM, Hope Opla, Canopy, Crackle, Tubi, and Fandor. You like them apples. Fandor? Oh, whoa. He is changing up the intro music every day. Here's what's craziest. Does this does anything about this music match what you know about Aaron M. Holt or this show? Like, does this music match this show? Can you imagine anybody who actually likes this kind of music listening to Aaron M. Holt? Or anybody blue collar for that matter firing up Aaron M. Holt at the job site? You know? They're, they're firing up the job site. They got their work boots on. They got the generator. They got their tool belt. Yeah, let's put on some Aaron M. Holt. Steel Toe Morning Joe. Huh? That blue collar feel good radio of the day. Everybody, April has her calm glasses on. You earned it. Hi, everybody. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Johnny's not. I love how he says everybody as if there's more than 100. There's 48 people watching Steel Toe right now. Johnny's still alive, so a lot of you are happy. Some of you are upset because you have to throw your betting slip away. But it's only money. You can lose it all. You can get it all back. It's okay. Boy, he's telling himself that a lot these days. Steel Toe Morning Show. Uh, Johnny, can you prove you are not an AI or a hologram? No, I can't, actually. Uh, I'm fading in and out of the background, so technically I do look like an AI. That's something an AI or a, a bot would say. Right. Actually. So, yeah, we apparently have no idea. Uh, Johnny did talk to me yesterday, and he said, look the end of the line for me i'm fading i'm fading fast um there's oh only one thing you can do for me and that's 
knock out the entire goal this morning. So wow. That, that's what Johnny said to me. He said, if there's nothing else you can do, uh, load Steel Toes pockets with the appropriate amount of fun. I mean, he's kind of joking about this, but this is the sentiment of the show. I mean, the whole vibe of the show is, sure, Johnny has MS, but we have a goal to reach. <laughs> Last part. But, yeah, no, there's not really. Remember when his friend Johnny Crutches, literally his co-host, set up a GoFundMe for MS treatment, and his buddy Aaron M. Holt, Steel Toe Morning Goo, donated zero dollars to him. Zero dollars to his cause. I believe it'll be around 800 today, so I'm sorry to upset you, uh, but right now, pushing about 200 a minute or two in, uh, we'll be at 800 at our peak today. So I expect you to keep that same kind of energy up throughout the rest of the day and not just when you want to be bitter. Rex start parody. So he's already doing the thing where it's like, don't pay attention to YouTube where it says we have 88 people watching. That's nonsense. We're going to have 800 watching in a minute across all of our platforms. Facebook, Pluto, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Hoopla, Canopy, Crackle, Tubi, Fandor, Kick. Don't pay any attention to the 88 people watching right now. That's We're actually very popular. So, yeah, Johnny did say knock out today's goal. He said uh, use PayPal and Streamlabs and Rumble first. And then YouTube, if it's most convenient for you, he said, knock it out because it's almost a whole goal today uh, at 345. So he said, contribute what you can, when you can, and let's uh, knock this out as soon as possible. That's what Johnny said to me. And that was, uh, I tell you, it was inspiring. It was like watching Adrian. So now he's explicitly telling people YouTube is a last resort. It's almost like he knows the channel's falling through his grasp. He has to know he lost a video last night. Last night, that video where he says the N-word copious times, that got struck. That got removed from the channel. I don't know why he didn't get a strike. I don't know why he's still able to broadcast. I don't know why, how it works. But he definitely knows that this morning, that last night he had a video removed, and they're on their best behavior. And that's why he's telling people, Hey, go donate everywhere else first. And if there's time, YouTube. Like a, a Nazi Stuka dive bomber. Wait, what? How are they already on Jews? Already. They've been on less than five minutes every goddamn day. Every day. You know, people over here on this show go like, oh, you're talking about Ray again? Oh, you're talking about Steel Toe again? Oh, you're talking about Chad again? Oh, you're talking about... It's like, first of all, I just heard you say nine topics, so it sounds like we switch it up pretty often. Literally Steel Toe every day. Anti-Semitism, Jew stuff, African black people stuff. And you can goddamn guarantee there'll be some misogyny and talking about April, tits or glasses. You know, I don't understand. I don't understand when people like, um, uh, I don't, I'll, I'll keep my goddamn mouth shut. It's not yet time. And I know some things coming down the pike that ain't, uh, I should shut the fuck up. That's what I should do. Uh, creators can dispute a strike from YouTube. That may be why he's allowed to broadcast if he disputed the strike. Okay, Joshua, you know absolutely less than everybody about this. So, shh. Shh. Oh, people can appeal strikes? I had no idea. Thanks for offering no new information. And by the way, while it's under appeal, you still can't broadcast. So, again, people who know nothing about anything... Don't speculate. Don't pipe up with, hey, I heard something one time about how something might work. I'm in the business. I've been copyright struck. I, I, I know more than you, and we still don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could appeal it. Oh. Thanks, Joshua Guy, who's never been in our chat before ever and offered any information for anything. Thanks for piping up and letting us know how it Maybe kind of you heard 
goes. <laughs> you ever get into like a detailed conversation with somebody like that? They'll go like, uh, actually, like you can appeal it. And then while it appeals, they can still broadcast. And you go, oh, I thought you couldn't while it was being appealed. And they're like, oh, yeah, I don't know. And they're like, well, why'd you say that? Why'd you make up this elaborate thing you don't know anything about? <laughs> the DeVito method. The DeVito method. Sounds great. Sounds great. Who wants to be in charge of likes today? And I see Teamster Tim in the chat. I, I, uh, whew. sure enough yesterday. And by the way, I still don't know what's going on. Teamster Tim yesterday. If you, if you missed our show yesterday, Teamster Tim signed up for four overdose memberships and then immediately canceled those overdose memberships and sure. And I'm screaming the whole show. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop signing up. You don't understand how it works. And by the way, all these guys, I still don't know what he thinks he's doing. You know, four emails exchanged back and forth after the show. Exactly what I thought would happen. Hey, what's going on? I'm trying to sign up for overdose. And then he sends me his phone number as if I'm going to call him. Hey, call me. I can't get the overdose. What's going on? It's like, what's going on is you keep signing up and canceling. He's saying three subs. Okay, three, not four. Sorry. I honestly haven't looked into it. I didn't have time. Yesterday was a pretty busy day for me. And I don't know if I'll get to it today. You know, some of this is on you. I do appreciate the support, but at what point of you signing up, canceling, signing up, canceling, signing up, canceling, at what point do you think you're doing it right? How many times, three times you sign up and canceled within 20 minutes and in your brain, you're like, no, this must be the way it works. And then the email that comes in is like, uh, he says, you don't make it easier for easy for boomers. I, I mean, I do. You don't seem to understand what you're doing. That's why yesterday I screamed, stop, just stop. Let's talk later because you don't know what you're trying to do. You don't know what you're trying to do. I sent you that email yesterday. Like, what do you want? What's your goal? What are you trying to sign up for and get? And you didn't even answer that. You're like, keep the overdose. <laughs> okay. I shall do nothing until you tell me to do anything. I, I don't know if you have access to what you wanted. I don't know if you don't have access to what you wanted. From what I can tell, you canceled the memberships immediately after signing up for them. So I, I don't know what you're doing, dog. I don't make it easy for boomers. I mean, I, I it couldn't be easier. If you don't want to leave YouTube, stay on YouTube, sign up for the overdose light level and get access to everything right here on YouTube. If you'd like to support the show in a bigger way and actually pay less, go use promo code again at nobodylikesonions.com slash overdose. Pay $9 a month, get access to even more, including our entire back catalog. And I actually make more money off it than if you sign up here on YouTube. There's just two paths. Go to our website and do it at nobodylikesonions.com slash overdose or stay here and do it on YouTube. There's two things. Just do one or the, one or the other. You don't, and by the way, don't go sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel. That's not... That's a general rule across the board, Teamster Tim. Don't sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel. You don't do that for any anything. If you if that's what you do, you're doing it incorrectly. So let's just start there. Don't sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel in 13 minutes. That's an insane behavior, and that's not how anything works. So you're definitely not doing it right when you do that. Okay, so now we have that down. You can either do it on YouTube or you can go to our website and do it. The two are unrelated. They don't know about each other. They don't touch each other. It's two places you can get the content and it's two places you can pay. If you sign up on YouTube and then you run over to our website and sign up, it doesn't cancel your YouTube membership and vice versa. They don't know about each other. So then this other thing, he's like, I'm trying to upgrade from overdose light to overdose. That, that's not a thing that you can do. There's no upgrade. 
There are two ways to get content. YouTube Overdose Light, website Overdose. It's not hard. It isn't. I know it sounds like, let me get a pen. There's two places to get content. Sign up for one and then stop. Don't cancel it. Don't go sign up again and cancel it and then again and cancel. Like just, you just, it's like everything else you've ever done in your life. You sign up for it and then you get it. You stop. You sign up and then just stop. Immediately stop. Don't go cancel it. Sign up again, cancel it. Sign up again, cancel it. Like, just sign up and enjoy the content. That's how it works. Okay? Okay. So I, I, I'm going to just say um, to Teamster Tim, I, I'm not calling you to figure it out. I, I still don't know what you need. So I'm not trying to be rude here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you have a membership now or don't have a membership now. I don't know if you have access now. I don't know if you don't have access now. I don't know if you're trying to access it on YouTube or on our website. I don't know if you think they're the same thing. I don't know what you think you are doing. Do you understand? You're not communicating that to me in a manner which I can process and understand. So I shout, I, and I don't mean this in a rude way. The ball's in your court. If you've got everything you need and it's working, great. If something's not working and you want access to something, I would beg you and implore you, do not run and sign up for anything else. You don't know what you're doing. Send me an email and let me know what, you try, what you're trying to do, what you think you want to do or what you're trying to sign up. I, I, I honestly don't know. I'm really baffled by it. Thank you for the $40 yesterday. I, I, I hope you got whatever you were trying to get out of it. I really am lost. Acid dust melting in the morning is the reason why I haven't put a gun in my mouth. That's gross. Thanks, Melton, says Day Twa. I don't know if it worked. I don't know if you got your uh, stuff back or not. Day Twa. But we tried to get Day Twa unblocked from MLC from Kevin Brennan yesterday. I don't know if it worked. TJ, uh, Teamster Tim says, I'm going to sleep. It's not that important. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not important, but I want you to get what you paid for. I don't want to come across as a dick here, but I know I am because <laughs> that's just my nature. But I'm being serious. I don't know what you're trying to get. So if you can't get it, if you don't have access, send me an email. I want this. Overdose Light on YouTube, Overdose on your website. I don't know what you're trying to do. I, I really don't know what you're trying to access or get. Or do. All I see is just spazzing out. Signing up, cancel, sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel, cancel, sign up. Call me. I don't know what I'm doing. It's not working. Cancel, sign up. Am I doing it right? Cancel. So uh, just reach out if you're having trouble. And we'll treat, treat it like regular rules. I, I hope you don't have three subs going. I don't think, I don't think you do. Ace says, can you explain how to sign up? No. No. fucking hell if you can't figure out how to sign up for this and and i the only excuse is if you're trying to do it on ios and you haven't figured out that you can't do it on ios devices unless you're ian hawk and by the way i went down that rabbit hole yesterday ian hawk uh, everyone says you can't do it on ios it says it was removed from the app it says it can't be done and then yesterday sure enough ian hawk says you can do it and shows that you can do it so I don't know why some channels can be joined on iOS, some can't. There's no information about it. Everyone says it was removed from the app. Everyone says you can't do it. Every bit of documentation I found says you can't do it. So I don't know how some people have it and some people don't. And if anyone knows how that works, please let me know. Patrick's cringe content, what is that? Is this on one of, is this the overdose? These are him ranting aimlessly online, going on and on and on and on for years. And I, and I really will not be able to totally describe this to you. This is in his head on his podcast, ranting about a debt that was owed by someone else. And he decided to squeeze my life and I ignored it. And it's just going on and on. Any question, I apologize. And then Turkom 
I got the bubble guts. Do, 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 da, bubble guts. Da, bubble guts. Uh, 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 rocking down the street. Do, 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 do. A bubble guts. And the bubble guts. Oh, God, what a day. I got acid reflux or something. It's a coffee. I, I might have to stop drinking coffee in the morning. I feel like it like the acid. It's too much. It's too much for my delicate system. It's giving me the bubble guts. The bubble guts. Um, okay, so I don't really know what to say about that. Um, overdose is easy to do. It's easy to join here on YouTube, and it's easy to join on the website. Nobody likes onions.com slash overdose. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I can't, I can't have, um, hold on. Weird to visit your favorite morning show and immediately see you've been tagged. I'm armed. What's happening now? I can't, I can't keep up with everybody today. This is too much. We just started and I'm out of my mind. This is why I started taking Wednesdays. I got to have the Wednesday just to reset midweek and get it together. By the way, that was an actual piece of the court transcript, the Queen and Butch Bradley right there that we just heard. And we're going to be watching the entire court uh, video on Thursday in its entirety, the Butch Bradley hearing. And I... I can't do it justice. I got to let you know it. It's it's good. It gets really, really good. So I know that's going to be a particular interest to Vegas comedians here. I'll probably put the footage up on its own as a standalone video over on the NLO Clips channel. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the NLO Clips channel, please do that. I'm going to move all the clips over there eventually, but, you know, we got to get some people over there. And I, oh, maybe we'll start. I said this last week, but maybe we'll have to make good on the threat. Maybe we'll start doing the live show on the NLO Clips channel to build up the audience over there. Just until we get it good enough to make sense, huh? But I don't know. We're working on it. And uh, we shall do it. And Friday, the art contest that we're doing this week is Butch Bradley courtroom drawings. Draw your best uh, courtroom sketch of Butch Bradley frantically uh, being washed in the realization that he is not going to get a restraining order and that his complaints are insane and freedom of speech is a right that we're all born with and have at our disposal. So Friday art contest, Butch Bradley court drawings. Thursday, full Butch Bradley um, um, stuff. And look forward to that. I promise you it's going to be great. Somebody in our uh, in our Discord, which I'm keeping a loose eye on, just says, Aaron is shook. He's worried Rumble's going to turn into YouTube, another platform that'll throw him off. What is he saying? We'll tune back in for just a second. I don't want to spend too much time on this idiot. They love him like Lenny, a little too. Yeah, fun. they love him like Le you know that toddler ain't fresh, Lenny. Uh, Gray Duckling says Aaron just says disavow instead of just kidding. Yeah, there you go, disavow. Oh, uh, I, you know, I I have hope for Rumble. Uh -oh. I think it's going to be okay. Uh oh. Just, could we keep the Nazi rallies to a minimum? That's all I'm. I don't feel like I'm being unreasonable there. Just keep the Nazi rallies to a minimum. I mean, you're part of it. You're part of the right wing grift, you idiot. Your whole show is leaned super hard into Kumia bullet shopping and, and, and Nazi rallies. You literally, four minutes into your show, you were talking about Nazis. Four minutes in. And every day you say the word, like, I, I imagine saying the word Nazi daily. I can't even like imagine. And Steel Toad does. Everyday Jew jokes, everyday black jokes. And now he's like, please don't turn into Nazis, guys. It's like you are what you claim to hate. Me then. I'm like, oh, oh God. 
That's like the people that are like, yeah, but but if but if God isn't real and we don't follow the rules of religion, what's to stop us from raping and murdering? <laughs> I I mean, just the general desire to not do those things. Is, yeah. Am I alone there? Uh, yeah, that that is the crutches is a nothing. I mean, I've never really dived too much into Johnny Crutches. That guy is a a nothing. He's like a Tony Mazer. And look, I don't have anything against Tony Mazer. I never really go in on Tony Mazer. But there's a reason. <clears throat> there's a reason Chad is so comfortable around Tony Mazer. He's not a threat. He's not intelligent. He's not going to ask the tough questions of Chad. He's not going to make Chad stand in his actions and truth and answer for his, his you know, wrongdoing. Tony Mazur will never push back on Chad. Tony Mazur will never stand up to Chad. Tony Mazur has given up on a life of entertainment, taken a day job, and now has nothing driving him to be honest or good. He's not funny. He really doesn't add much. He's kind of a vanilla personality that will never push back, that will never threaten, that will never take over. And Chad needs that because, uh, honestly, a neutral per personality makes Chad look weak. A neutral personality makes Chad look like he's not in control of his own show. He's not a leader. Because Chad matched up with anybody of equal or lesser fortitude will look weak and stand down and submit. So you bring Tony Mazur on, it looks like you can run a show because you can wrangle Tony Mazur. It's like Tony Mazur is a vanilla nudge. He literally, I, I just saw it in, in Tony Crutches. I, I never have seen it before in my life, but I just saw it when he tried to make that joke. He has no confidence in himself. His self-esteem is shot. He's insecure as fuck. He knows he has nothing to offer. He knows Steel Toe Morning Show is garbage. He knows he's sitting next to a guy who would throw him under the bus for a $20 super chat in a heartbeat. It's like, I, I, you ask me if I feel bad? No, I don't. No, I don't. Not when it comes to, you know, copyright strike is one thing. And I don't copyright strike people for playing my show. And I, you know, people copyright strike me for playing their show. Bring it on. I got a lawyer. But community guidelines, safety, all the other stuff that we have to do, all the other stuff that I get flagged for and in trouble for, language, racism, all that kind of stuff that Aaron does continually while he parades out a, a minstrel puppet and all this shit. It's like just, it's, oh, it's so over the top and unquestionably distasteful. And in and, and violation of YouTube guidelines that, yeah, I don't feel bad. And no matter how much anybody wants to go lie about me and go, he's trying to get him arrested. He's trying to do it. It's like, no, I ain't. No, I ain't. If he loses his YouTube channel, will I laugh? Yes. Yes. Why? Because it takes three strikes and, you, and he's been nothing but flagrant about it. That's why it's funny. You know, a guy getting a slap on the wrist and then panicking and changing his behavior is one thing. A guy getting a slap on the wrist and then flicking his middle finger up at everybody, getting another slap on the wrist and flicking his middle finger up at everybody and doubling down and then getting another slap on the wrist and losing his channel. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> you know, and by the way, he's the one telling you it's fine. He's the one, he's the one who keeps telling you he doesn't care. We'll be over on Rumble. We'll be over on Twitter. We'll be over on Facebook. We got more listeners than ever. We'll see. We'll see if you really believe that or if you lose your mind when you lose your YouTube account, which I suspect you will. Brian Johnson, the come-to-life garden gnome of our times, stay away from April, Melton. Get your own sister wife. Also, please bring back Scrimpin' Hot. I missed out the first time. Hold on. What's Scrimpin' Hot? Oh, scrimpin' hat. The scrimpin' hat. 
Um, if that's the real Brian Johnson, shoot me an email. We'll get you a scrimping hat. Does Brian Johnson wear hats? I don't think he wears hats. If you don't wear hats, you don't get free hats. That's the deal. You forgot the trans people? Let's talk about trans people. It's all I see on my social media, almost as if I engage in nothing but topics about transgenders. Leave me alone, Patrick. Don't you have Shuli to Ray on this morning? Yeah, we are going to talk about Shuli. Everyone hates Shuli. Everyone's piling on Shuli. I got more information yesterday that Carl was talking about me. I really, I, you know, Brian and Brian Johnson, speaking of Brian Johnson, he knows Carl. I, what did I do to this guy? Like, this guy seems very upset at me. And by the way, like the things I'm hearing he says about me are like the most insane lies that I, I, I really am. I'm kind of like, oh, I'm not sure if he's. Yeah, I, I really don't know. I'm a, I'm an out of it, clueless guy. I don't really understand what's happening. Uh, but that's fine. I don't need to be the most plugged in. You guys tune in. You tell me what's going on. You tell me what I need to pay attention to. Tell me what I don't need to pay attention to. Melton boozing. Ooh, I wish. I saw some pretty disturbing footage of Shuli in the Discord. You see, stuff like this is what perpetuates all this garbage, though. It's like, no, you didn't. I think. Did you? First of all, did you? I don't know if you're kidding or not. Did you? Or are you kidding? Because, like, at what point, you know, do, does this end? You saw some disturbing footage of Shuli in the Discord? What is it? What'd you see? Because you understand we had the Brandon Network running around literally saying this kind of shit. Saying that Shuli has a cult and that he's following him around and moving his neighbors out in the night. So so did you see some disturbing video of Shuli or are you just perpetuating this nonsense? Because let me tell you something. If there's Shuli to be gotten, we'll get Shuli. <laughs> but I don't see it. Um. So, let's do it. Uh, I'm tired of people telling me that other people are nice or aren't that bad. It's false. <laughs> You're right. Everybody's shit. Patrick, my aunt works at a Ford dealership in St. Cloud. Apparently, Aaron and April tried getting a free lease on a car in exchange for advertisement on Steel Toe. I do believe that because they were talking about a car recently. I could see them walking into a Ford dealership and being like, did you know we have 400 viewers across all platforms? How about that Lincoln Navigator? Uh, it's either a truth or a lie. Only the host can joke. Now you get it. Now you get it. Anyway, there's no disturbing, disturbing footage of Shuli I've seen. But people seem to think he's in a cult. And um, after him, goodbye, Rustic Cuts. No, 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 no. I'll be objective. We're going to find out the truth. I'm not after Shuli, but if Shuli is in a cult and they're poisoning my meat and I'm going to be turned into a... Some sort of compliant member of a cult. I saw a quick video of Shuli getting mounted by a horse. He died afterwards. Very disturbing. Oh, no. Hey, now, don't compare me to the Brandon Network. I mean, I am. You just said you saw disturbing footage of Shuli. I asked you about it seven minutes ago. And all you said is, don't compare me to Brandon. Where's the disturbing footage of Shuli? What did you see? Where's it? Where is it? And back up your claims. Or you look stupid. 
you look just like everybody else running around saying that Stevie Lou is is the devil incarnate. It's like, or, and hear me out, he's a wannabe comedian nerd. <laughs> so yeah, what's the video you saw, Adam Two Hands? You wanna you want attention? You wanna be the big guy on campus? You wanna be the big guy in the chat? Now you have to back it up. You saw a disturbing video of Shuli on the Discord. What is the video? You have one minute to respond starting now. By the way, if you didn't see a disturbing video of Shuli, we are going to hang you and have you drawn and quartered. I like the term gang stalking has been released into the world. Um, is that your favorite sex position, Carlos Danger? So you got about 30 seconds left to tell us about this, uh, you know, stuff. And by the way, every to the person messaging me on, on Discord about this, knock it off. I don't, you know what, motherfuckers, let me just say this. And this isn't a personal message to that person. I'm making people admins and mods in the Discord so you leave me the fuck alone. The fact that you have to run and tell me every little thing everyone's doing. How old is everyone? Fuck. Fuck. You're all like in your 30s with jobs going, this guy's doing this in the voice chat. This guy's saying this. I don't like, like fucking figure it out, adults. Figure it out. You can't get along. Adam has two hands and Ian Hawk can't get along. Figure it the fuck out, adults. Jesus Christ. It's the, it's the thing that annoys me the most about any of it. I never want to get a message from an adult man telling me what an, another adult man is doing to them in the Discord. Fucking figure it out. Stop, how about this? Stop doing shit back to him in retaliation, you fucking adult. Why don't you talk to each other and knock it off? I mean, seriously. You work for companies. You're men with families and marriages. And you can't figure out a social media website with other strange men? You're gay, dog. You're gay. I don't ever want to be involved in your disputes with other men. <laughs> Fucking cross swords and guzzle come about it. Jesus Christ. I ain't into discords. And I don't want to be. I don't want to monitor every fucking line of chat. I don't want to hang out in the voice chat. You guys do it. You guys do it. Have fun. Treat each other nicely. And by the way, if you can't get along, don't get along. But don't message me about it. We set up our little mini mod team of community moderators over on the Discord now. There's a handful of people over there who can now shut people up because we had Hipstar Mark over there causing trouble yesterday. So now there's a bunch of people on the Discord who can kind of handle shit. Don't abuse it. Don't ban people because you don't like them. Don't silence people because you don't agree with them. Don't kick people out because you don't like them. That's the only thing I want to get is this person's abusing their power. Great. Banned. Kicked. Knock it off, dolts. Dolts or adults? Listening to this is like a preschool teacher losing their mind. I mean, but really? And this isn't even about the message I just got. I haven't even really read it. It just kind of popped up. But like. I don't need to know so-and-so's doing this on the Discord. So-and-so's doing this on the Discord. We're going to set up a community moderation channel. You guys talk about it amongst yourselves and, and get rid of them if they're a problem. If not, shut up. 
It's not for you to kick somebody out because you don't agree with them or they insulted you or you don't like them or they don't like you or they said something you don't like or they like a show you don't like. Like, fucking hell. Everyone's gay. (laughs) And not in a fun way where you're, like, docking dicks. I thought we were supposed to all be on the same team. Maybe I'm a little naive, Patrick. I mean, what am I not? What am I saying that's different than that? How did you hear... Hey, everybody, be on different teams. I just said, learn to get along with everyone and shut the fuck up. And what you heard is, Patrick wants us all on different teams. I, 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 I got I to gotta go back to bed and stick my head in the sand. What's happening on Earth? What is happening on planet Earth where someone says something so explicit And someone can hear the opposite. Because that's the place we're in. I literally am going, learn to get along with everyone and knock it off. And what Arizona Mesa Tom hears in his miswired brain is, I guess Patrick doesn't want us on the same team, doesn't want us to get along. What? How the fuck did you get that from get along? I I I'm I'm losing my God says Patrick is so mad. I'm not. I got I just gotta yell about something. But like, it really is. Does it not bug anyone else on this planet that you can go? I like red. The color's red. I like red. Everybody should buy me red things. I'm really into red. And then literally a minute later, somebody goes, huh, "Guess Patrick really likes blue." What's happened? What's happened to the planet? What's happened to our ability to communicate where someone actually hears and receives a message that is opposite of anything that was ever spoken? Like, I don't care what you've twisted in your head to think and what you may interpret by how much we bring her up. I'm not into April. I don't want to fuck April. I don't find April attractive. Her voice, her mind, it's retarded. I'd stab my fucking eyes out with ice picks or toenail clippers. Could I not find ice picks? And if I couldn't find toenail clippers, acorns, just pointy acorns, just gush. I've never given one indication that my dick is even remotely interested in that backwater bitch. And Carl hears, Melton's obsessed with April. What's happening to everyone? There's literally like Chad and a million other little podcasters who have talked about sweeping her away and making her their new wife once Aaron's done with her. I have no desire to do that, have never expressed an interest in doing that, and it disgusts me. And yet there are individuals out there who go like, wow, he's really into April. I, 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 it leaves me very little hope for the future of the world. When I, can, when I sit here and go, Everyone, please stop fighting on the Discord and being childish. And Arizona Mesa Tom, whatever that is, hears Patrick doesn't want us to get along. I mean, I I don't even, like, should we shut it down? Is the connection bad? Is it me? Where did we go wrong? What, What happened? And I understand that, like, 3% of the chat will be trolls going, There's a hiss when there's not a hiss. There's an echo when there's not an echo. You know, just contrarian for the sake of contrarian's sake. But, like, what what do you hear? And Harry balls on you. I'll do it today. I, I know you tried so hard yesterday all show long to get me to bite on one. I'll bite on one. What? What? Name one indication I've ever given that I'm interested in April. I'll wait. What? I'll wait. Name one. You've given multiple. Name one. I'll wait. Whoever suggested Carl cover the blonde cast ruined Patrick's month. No, no, that that really I don't. That is not Carl's fault. 
that that isn't the minute that I found out that someone suggested it to him and he did it. That's that's off Carl. Uh, I'm just glad you're not yelling at me now. Oh, I still am in the back of my mind. There's a hiss, but it's Melton uh, acting like an angry cat. Audio is clipping. What audio is clipping? What audio is clipping? What levels are you? I'm I'm looking at what audio is clipping. My voice? Is this clipping? It ain't. It ain't. I don't think people know what clipping means. So I don't know. I, if we have to shut it down and restart today and maybe just retool, maybe everybody needs to go get a new prescription, put their life together. I, we're an hour into the show, and I've lost my mind. I, I, I don't know how to handle this anymore. It's too much. We And we go down to members-only chat just to slow it down enough just to deal with you know, the regimented psychos that have a dollar ninety nine on them, but you, then you still get idiots. Maybe we're gonna we're gonna switch to a twenty dollar membership level and you have to have that to chat. Uh Ace says on a positive note, great mural, get rid of the pores. Thank you. Thank you. Finally some recognition for what I do around here. <laughs> ah! It really is a wild time, man. It really is a wild time. On the one hand, you got a guy who keeps throwing money at you, signing up for memberships, canceling them, signing up for them, canceling. Again, what what works like that? You know what I mean? That's that's the part for me in my head. This is my disability. My disability is is the inability to let go of inefficiency. My disability is the inability to look away from retarded, stupid people. And that's a little harsh because I don't think Teamster Tim's retarded. But how? I just like how? I'd love to know how. And by the way, you know, call in, please, and let, let walk us through the scenario where anything works like Sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel. Anything. A doctor's appointment, a test drive, a restaurant reservation, a podcast membership. Is there anything you buy, return, buy, return, buy, return, three times in five, anything, and think to yourself, I'm probably doing it right. How many times did you have to purchase it and return it, purchase it and return it, purchase it and return it before you went, huh, I don't think I'm doing it right. Just a quick, just a real quick question. So that's the world I'm living in now where I, I don't understand anybody or what anyone's doing. I'm going to go to Atlantic City because I said I would go to Atlantic City. Don't approach me. Don't talk to me. I'm going to be playing poker alone at a table. I don't want to do a podcast with you. I don't care how well you think you know me or we might be buddies or we might get along if we ever met in person. You hear that, Carlos Danger? Stay away from me. Don't even approach. Maybe across nine poker tables you can go. Not a word. Nobody come near me unless you're a cocktail waitress or a dealer. Don't even sit at my poker table if you if you recognize my face. I want to be left alone and uh, treated like a star. <laughs> None of that's true. Feel free to say hi. I'm a very nice man, but you will get yelled at if you do something dumb. Hey, Patrick's maybe stop. The Hold on. What? Hey, Patrick's maybe stop the other stream during the live show. I just watched the other stream for 50 minutes thinking it was a live show. Who's dumb? I mean, that's not, you know what I mean? That'd be like, that'd be like uh, you, you having an appointment in uh, one of the Twin Towers and you thinking they should lock the doors to the other one so you don't go to the wrong one. 
You're dumb. Learn to read. Pick up on context clues. The whole stream over there says not live up in the corner. And you want us to pad the room to make it easy for you to tell it's not live? We already did that. You can't pick up on rules. It's you. Uh, Lance says Patrick hunted down and combed through April's Pinterest, held an art contest for April's mom, designed merchandise about April. Yep, definitely not obsessed. If you think that's about April, you're dumber than I thought. All that stuff is just to divide a wedge between Aaron and April. That I mean, that is not really about April. How does us drawing April's fat mom get me off on April? You know what I mean? I'm dreaming of a fantasy between her and her fucking manatee orca mama. Supposed to flapjack her out out on a fucking shitty natural oak kitchen island and fillet her fat mom open. And just eat chunks of her raw sushi style. Nobody's into April sexually. We're into April as a specimen. We're into April as a tool to use to bring down the movie and scrimp hour. But <laughs> and beloved chatter says, to be fair, I found her Pinterest and sent the batch. I don't look up any of this stuff. That's the best part. I know you guys think I'm sitting around combing through April's everything. Everything I cover Steel Toe gets sent to me. I'm not into Steel Toe. <laughs> I know that's hard. It's really hard for people to wrap their head around. I don't go Googling Steel Toe and trying to find out things about Steel Toe. That was three months ago. Now people send me all the headlines and I decide which ones to go over. By the way, I throw out many, 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 many of them. People send in stuff. Oh, there was one somebody sent in recently of him saying movie instead of uh, movies. It's like, we don't need to cover him mispronouncing things and saying movie. I throw out so much steel toe stuff. The only thing we're interested in is wrecking their well-being. Get that, Carl? Not arresting them. Bringing down bad people. By the way, your friend Brian Johnson seems to agree that they're bad people. You also seem to agree that they were breaking regulations. That like that like that's the stuff I give a fuck about, not copyright. I give a fuck about everyone having to play on the same level playing field. Why do they get to run a legal lottery and I don't? You know, I'd love to start up an illegal lottery. Anything I'd love to give away money? And, and just take unlimited injuries and pretend like I was giving back to my community while pocketing two grand? You fucking idiots. <laughs> Patrick's trying to get him arrested. Hurdy her. Hurdy her. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you hurdy her me? Uh, what are all these masks people going to do in AC? I'm guessing the Bellagio frowns on ski masks. Well, first of all, the Bellagio is in Las Vegas or Lake Como, Italy. Take your pick. But there's no Bellagio in Atlantic City, so that's not a thing. But I do imagine, like, uh, yeah, I imagine there'll be several people um, just gathered around with masks on, awkward as fuck. Sipping glasses, pretending to be listening to conversations, but really shifting their eyes around. I I anticipate this thing is going to be way sadder and stupider than you could ever imagine. That's my gut instinct and feeling right now. How good is this Atlantic City meetup going to be? And by the way, who's going? Who's going in our chat? Let's find that out. Is anyone in our chat room currently... Headed to this Atlantic City meetup. Beloved Chatter, I think, is going. Um, Pottstown 2.0. I mean, not even. Not even. Flimsy is going. Um, your face is red, man. My face is never not red. Are you new to the program? Carl Hamburger hears what he wants to hear. I mean, it re I, I don't know if he's, he might be trolling, trying to get something. Again, like he doesn't, I don't think he's dumb. That's, that's the problem. 
Like, Carl doesn't strike me as retarded. <laughs> so why is he running around telling everybody obvious lies about me? Number one, it's trolling. Number two, he actually is conflating, like, getting in trouble with the law with an arrest. Like, no one ever thought they were getting arrested. No one thought that except Carl and Steel Toe. It was when Steel Toe went live on prize night, and they were like, well, nobody's knocked on our door and busted down our doors as if the YouTube police have patrol cars out knocking on doors and shutting down broadcasters like it's 1984. No one thought, no one thought that. You know, Corey runs around telling people that, like, Melton failed. Nobody went and shut him down. It's like, no one's going to come shut them down. What do you think? The FBI is going to come in and rip wires out of the wall? We dare you to try to broadcast again, you some of my bitches. <laughs> um, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm in the AC Poker Rooms Weekly, so technically you guys are visiting me. That's great. I'll be there. Uh, autistic radio listener says, how could I miss this? Hold on, Carlos Danger said he's coming, right? Are you coming, Carlos? Carl was being hyperbolic, I believe. I mean, here's the thing. At what point is it hyperbole if you can't let it go for months? Like, we, we have not mentioned steel toe, prize night, breaking rules, regulations, file a report, attorney jet whatever you want to say about whatever we tried to do i mean it was fucking april that was april may june july now like this was this weekend carl's like patrick's trying to get him arrested it's like patrick hasn't thought about steel toes prize night in over two moon cycles recalibrate <laughs> patrick's obsessed with april it's like there's a line of nine women in our chat room I would plow through before thinking about wringing my dick out in April. <laughs> Just so you know. And Flimsy Greenberg's one of them. So, like, I, I can absolutely promise you you're way off there. And then there's more stuff that I can't even divulge at this point and we may get some more information on that in the next hour or so but that's all i can say about that right now so at one point it could be hyperbolic you could be trolling or whatever but it's like you sound you're the one who actually sounds ignorant and dumb though i never ever ever thought steel toe was going to get a knock on their door put into handcuffs and arrested that's not how this works at all. Ray has an open mic that weekend. That's not a joke I'm making, by the way. Yeah, we're going to watch a little bit of Ray stuff today. Ray's, Ray's uh, boiling mad about the prank um, to send stuff to the comedy cellar. So I don't know how many people have sent stuff to the comedy cellar. I don't know... Um, I don't know if you guys have seen uh <laughs> Where's the clip? Fuck. How do I pull how do I uh pull all these clips and then they're just missing? There was a clip yesterday of Ray on on the BYB show and somebody sent it to me and I pulled it and it was the first clip I wanted to go over today. And, uh, of course, it's gone. Okay, I found it here now. Okay. Jesus Christ. So, yesterday, Ray, uh, after MLC, first of all, this wasn't even my idea. Um, but now I'm going to get credit for it, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Either way, I don't really probably care. Um, what are they going to do? Oh, the, the comedy seller are going to be mad at me? I don't do stand-up anymore. I, it's not a threat to me. 
Ray's the only one who thinks he's going to pop and be a stand-up still. Joke's on him. He's going to be old and retired and still living in somebody's spare room. Um, okay, here we go. This is uh, Ray DeVito on some sort of podcast of some kind. The comedy song. No, I mean, why can't I rewind this? You know, Miller. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I heard. I gave a. Here we go. And so you went by the uh, you went by the comedy store and picked it up today. Uh, the comedy song. No, comedy I'm in cellar. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I heard. I gave a heads up to the manager there that uh, I guess Patrick Melton's encouraging people to send everything there, which right. which is annoying. But I'm not encouraging it. I'm just reporting that people are. Ray told people he could, he, that they could send him baseball cards and shit to the comedy cellar. So the minute Ray tells people that they can send him stuff at the comedy cellar, people are naturally going to get that idea. I'm the one who just, I'm just repeating it and putting it out there. Some guy's sending weights to the comedy cellar. Some guy's sending McDonald's to the comedy cellar. Some guy's sending a giant plush bear to the comedy cellar. Somebody's ordering a pallet full of paving stones to the comedy cellar. Ski Mask said he ordered three bowling balls to the comedy cell. I'm just telling you what people are doing because Ray said he can get mail at the comedy cellar. Do I think it's funny? Yes. Do I think the more people who send him shit that's bulky and big and heavy to the comedy cellar is funny? Yes, because it objectively is. It objectively is funny. Now imagine calling in from the BYB podcast to me like, you know who I am. You know which one I am. It's like, do we? But uh, I talked to the manager. It's, this is actually a good thing because now it gives me more reasons to go to the comedy cellar. So this is yesterday afternoon. Listen to, listen to Ray's spin. Melton's doing this. It's actually a good thing. It gives me more of a reason to go to the comedy cellar. And then uh, she gave me her cell phone number, and she she's like, yeah, she's like, I'll let you know if we get stuff, and if you want us to send it back, we'll just send it back. So thank you, Patrick, what? for giving me more of an excuse to go to the comedy cell. So now he's thanking me and giggling. It's all light. Thanks, Patrick. Give me more excuse to go to the comedy cellar. Hey, this is actually great. This is going to give me more excuses to go to the comedy cellar. So Fair it enough. actually worked out in my favor. And yes, it worked out in his favor. It's all come up great for, uh, it's all come up great for Ray. So now they know you as someone that's a troublemaker. I mean, they don't let's get it real clear. Ray, no one at the comedy cellar knows me. They don't. No one's walking around going, you hear what Patrick Melton's doing to Ray. Yeah. He'll never be welcome here. The managerial staff's walking around going, Patrick Melton's pranking Ray. What's all these packages doing here, Patrick Melton? You heard about this Patrick Melton guy? You really think now they know me for causing trouble? Look, they might in a couple days. They might in a week. You can run around telling everybody, I did this. I've sent nothing to the comedy seller. I w I, you wanted a hat from this program, and I won't send that to you. I'm not wasting my money. It's all going to Brian Johnson. Many hats as he wants. Tell him, Steve, Dave. So I love that in the afternoon yesterday, Ray's chalking this up as a win. Ray is running around telling everybody this is great. He's now known around the comedy cellar. He gets to go more often, and this is actually going to make me look really bad around the cellar as if I'm ever... So no, I uh, I think uh, you should just go down there and sit there and wait for people to send you food all day, right? Like like uh, Perry Caravella gets like McDonald's sent to him all the time. Uh, lie to people and be <laughs> like, oh, I I hate double uh, double quarter pounders, uh, and then that's actually something you like, and then just well, have I, like sending you shit you actually do like all day long. Well, actually, this is like like they were saying like this is a thing that people do anyways. Like they're used to comics getting harassed at the comedy cellar anyways. Like people sending comics like random shit. So th this is like nothing new. So it's not like I'm a one time case where something like that happens. So yeah, I, I, it just makes me yeah. It it just makes me look like I'm someone important. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all. Like
I mean, Ray's actually right here. This and this actually is the take. And we're gonna watch a little bit of last night's show with Ari Jane, where Ray talks to her, and she gives him great advice. Like, Ray, you you have to work on the things you can control, and you can't control what people do to you. Like, this is a prank that's been born now. People are going to be sending stuff to the comedy seller in your name. This is this idea is out there. It's it's happening. And you panicking about it and screaming about it isn't going to fix it. But I also think Ray is one of the most ignorant, idiotic people on the web. He still does not understand how the internet works. His take on this is, this is nothing new. People get stuff sent to the comedy seller all the time. They're not, this isn't the first case they've ever had of a comic being harassed at the seller. So believe me, this is going to be fine. This is going to be all good. They get this kind of thing all that they've seen this a million times. It's like, I, Ray, I, first of all, just you saying that is like issuing a challenge to the internet. You can't do shit to me. They've seen it all. Okay. I, I I don't think you understand the ferocity and the unrelenting continuation of absolute shit people are willing to send to you at that address. Yeah, I'm sure people have pranked a guy and sent him some pizza or a hot dog on a night he had a show. I'm sure they've had pranks. We've seen some crazy pranks around here. If musical instruments, pallets of sand and aggregate and bricks, um, giant, you know, seven foot high stuffed teddy bears, uh, inflatables, things that are too heavy to lift, all start, like, do you understand, you dummy? And his whole thing is like, and I get it, and it's just more of an excuse for me to go down to the comedy side, as if he's going to go down and pick all this stuff up. Somebody said firewood. Yeah, just send a cord of firewood to the comedy seller. Like, I, I really don't think you understand how insane MLC idiots are. Like these these guys will spend a thousand dollars to fuck with Ray. And everybody going like, oh, you you encourage people like like I encourage people to do it in so much as that it's very funny. That's a funny prank. Send me you guys could send me stuff to the comedy seller. It's like, oh, can we? <laughs> How about jet fuel? How about parts for Volkswagens? How about spare tires? What if you just ordered four Firestone tires to be delivered to the comedy seller? Like eventually they, they all this stuff has to be like stacked somewhere. <laughs> just order him a five gallon bucket of pool chlorine. You know what I mean? Like, like Ray's dumb if he thinks. This is actually going to work out great for me. I, I'll get to go down to the comedy cellar more often and pick up my stuff. Like This isn't going to be stuff you can pick up. We're, to, we're talking about shipping wildlife. You ever had a box of baby alligators show up on your door? I don't think so. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes, but Ray doesn't seem too concerned with it. Ray's laughing about it. Melton actually did me a favor. Now he seemed like a big deal. Now I'm known around the comedy cellar as a, as a mover and shaker that people are pranking. I seem like a big guy. <laughs> Cut to Ray having a few drinks. Ray uh, getting high. And Ray getting his girlfriend slam dunked on a few times on MLC and the after chat. And by the way, Ari Jane, what a class act. What a, what a lady. 
putting up with all of our crass, insane advances and uh, just gross sexual stuff. By, by the way, okay, yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been absolutely uh, sexualizing Ari Jane and talking disgusting about her. So if you were to go like, oh, Patrick really is obsessed with Ari Jane and wants to fuck her, you'd be like, okay, I can see that. The April stuff, it's like, you're, you really misjudged. I promise you. I promise. I like, you can buy buckets filled with, filled with frozen chicks and mice as snake food. I'm sending 25 fully inflated boats, children's golf clubs. (laughs) Why children's? Uh, seven yards of gravel, dark web mystery boxes, make great gifts, four large boxes of landscaping rocks. Yeah. I, he thinks it's like pizzas. He called, he called down like they're going to be sending stuff. They're, they're sending some stuff. It's a prank. It's like, I think they're going to be like sending you like parts from motocross websites. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be heavy, oily, uh, things. Send him some goldfish from the pet store. (laughs) Uh, now you have some responsibility for this. What say you, I'm not saying I have responsibility. I'm absolutely publicizing it. Not nearly as many people wouldn't know about it. If I didn't bring it up on MLC yesterday, I understand that I'm spreading it. It's very funny. This is a very funny prank. It's even funnier. You know, again, if Ray Ray went on last night, like, please don't bother the comedy. So I'd be on here like, all right, guy, like, knock it up. Don't send. Ray's over there like, this is actually going to be great for me. Good luck, Melton. It's like, again, this wasn't my idea. I didn't come up with this. You actually put it in everybody's head. So cut to last night after Ray's gotten a few in him and has gotten to thinking about this and, of course, seen some of the social media posts and people saying what they're going to be sending. Whether they do it or not is yet to be seen. But people are saying what they're going to do, and Ray doesn't like it. And last night he was singing a very different tune. Uh, Dead Fool, a.k.a. David Chandler, paid $300 to get Stevie Lou off the show again. Very funny. You could say like now, like if Stevie Lou's never allowed on any other show on the web and constantly gets, gets, uh, kicked off cause David Chandler or dead fool is paying to have, uh, Stevie Lou removed everywhere. Am I making that happen? No, it's just funny. I'm just commenting on it. It's funny. Every time Stevie Lou goes on a show, David Chandler shows up and throws $500 at at whoever's hosting to make Stevie Lou go away and kick him off the show. That's funny. That is funny. I'm not responsible for Stevie getting kicked off. And if I spread the word far and wide enough where he gets kicked off every show he ever does from now until the end of time, I'm not responsible for that. If you send a bunch of gravel to New York City to the village at at McDougal street and and get a fine for dumping a bunch of gravel in front of uh, the comedy cellar and get a ticket for it or a city fine or whatever. Don't call me. I didn't organize this. I'm in the peanut gallery eating popcorn and peanuts. That's why it's a peanut gallery. Ray DeVito last night singing a different tune. Remember earlier in the day, funny, it's going to help my career. I look like a big deal. Thank you, Patrick, for helping me. Stevie Lou, <gasps> they pay money oh. to boot them off. So I. Holy crap. I got no. Harry Jane's jizzing at the side of a $300 super chat. Yeah. How much to kick Harry Jane off? Let's get her out of here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Wow, loser leaves and suddenly my wallet opens back up. Coincidence? Don't waste your fans' time with podcast derailers like Stevie Ray. No, I will admit I wanted to talk to Stevie because I, I just got like I I got a uh, I got fucked over. I don't- All right, watch this. I got fucked over. Podcast earlier today. 
I, I was doing BYB. I told them I'd jump on their podcast. And then, like, um, then they brought Gino on. And oh my gosh, you guys were and it was like, yeah, I again, I don't hate that guy. Like, that dude gave up my phone number and somehow he's the fucking victim. I, 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 I don't get I, it. I, I, I don't fucking get it at all. It's fucking insane. And like, anyone that does not see that fucking is like, what the fuck? But he's this. Welcome to this. I don't know if you know it. Same thing with uh, that fat guy, fucking Patrick Melton. That piece. Woo! Woo! You can always tell when they go to the fat. If I lost weight, what would people have? All Ray has, the guy who does nothing but scream about writing jokes, is fat piece of shit. That fat piece of shit. That fat piece of shit Melton. That fat fuck Melton. That fat piece of fucking shit Melton. That fat fuck. That's my name. Don't wear it out. That fat fuck. Let me know I'm living underneath your skin without letting me know I'm living underneath your skin. Oh, that fat fuck Melton. And not in a fuck, like, you know, like uh, ML, uh, Kevin Brennan calls me fat fuck every other word. And you can tell he, he's just, that's just fucking around. I never leave that show going like, wow, Kevin Brennan really despises me. No, no, no. This is like vitriol. That fat fuck melt, you know, when they put that F on it. Oh, oh. If you didn't have that, you'd have nothing. Because I'm so superior on every fucking level. So always remember when the guy who always wants to fight on different grounds moves the fight. Ray wants to fight on comedy ground. Bob Levy's not as funny as me. Shuli's not as funny as me. Kevin Brennan's not as funny as me. Gino's not as funny as me. Chad's not as funny as me. Melton's not as funny as me. Write a joke. Write a joke. It's like, here's what you don't understand, idiot. We're all better at that than you, too. We're not just better at podcasting. We're all better at all that stuff, too. Bob Levy can write better jokes, too. I can do better stand-up than you, as well as podcasting. Sorry, Ray. Sorry. Everyone who's already burned out in this business did more than you'll ever do. Chad included, you know, from what I've seen. Jesus Christ, you're the only one running around still thinking you can make it. You're the only one. Gino, maybe, but uh, Gino's delusional. He's opening the Steel Toe Morning Crew ninth anniversary show in Rockledge, Minnesota, for eight idiots playing cornhole. No offense, corn dip. But that's some backwoods bullshit, you know? You can put a cigarette out on uh, on AJ's back and Ray will give you another one to light. I just, I'm just letting you know, the guy who always wants to compete on comedy is now reduced to just going, that fat fuck, that fat fuck. I just been the fucking fat fuck with the fat as fuck. <laughs> it's a shit. They just like the stupid drama shit. They like being dicks to people. Patrick Melton's trying to ruin my shit right now. He's what am I trying to ruin? You told people they could send you stuff at the comedy cellar. And then people got the idea to si Again, it wasn't my idea. I wish I could take credit for this one. It's a great prank. I did not come up with it. I did not come up with it. I, I wish I did. But the minute someone came up with it, I went, oh, that's great. So, yeah, I'm perpetuating it. Absolutely. I'm calling attention to it 100%. When people go, what about a 10-foot teddy bear? I go, nailed it. <laughs> that's funny. It is funny. I thought you liked comedy. This is very funny. <laughs> He's a fucking asshole. Fuck that guy. And I He's so mad. Literally five hours before, he's like, it's actually great for my career. This is going to help me so much. I got to deal with this shit. And it's, um, 
yeah, fuck these people. Pick up a pen, we're a fucking joke, and be funny. That it, it's so insane that he thinks that's that they're mutually exclusive. Again, right? Like I'm not even kidding with you, Ray. I'm a far better stand-up than you. I can write far better jokes than you. I've done far more in my stand-up career than you will ever do. Like, I'm not even, like, what are you talking about? Right? Organize the stand-up show. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. Shuley's, Shuley's working on some events, I think, on the West Coast. Put a stand-up show together with Ray and Bob Levy and Shuley and me. And let's do it on stage, you big idiot. Let's write a joke. Get out a pen and write a joke. He still thinks everybody writes with a pen. It's like, that's not going to go well for you, Ray. Everyone's better at that than you, too. You're dumb. You're, it's not your fault. I'm sorry. You seem like a nice guy. You're dumber than dog shit. I, I, I wish there was a nicer way to say it. You're out of it as fuck, dog. What world do you think where I can't do stand-up? What world do you think you're in where Bob Levy can't do stand-up? Stand-up is gay, dog. Stand-up is over. It's fucking retarded. Everyone I know still chasing a dream of, of traditional, typical stand-up comedy is a loser who doesn't understand the, the paradigm shift of what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive to Maryland for $200, you fucking idiot. It's like, you literally sound like all the fucking morons screaming about radio and how you could. Well, I did real radio and I was on the radio. It's like you sound like Steel Toe and Chad. Radio? Who? Who? What? I mean, get it together. Ray is jealous of, uh, or sorry, Patrick is jealous of Ray's master degree. How angry can you be when keeping your voice down so your roommate can sleep? Yeah, yeah. He's a piece of shit. He's a fat piece of shit. A mountain of fat piece of shit. Like, like, Ray and Chad can't be tough when you have to keep it down. My wife is sawing logs in the other room right now. Hello? I don't give a shit. <laughs> you ain't tough. Yelling is uh, tough. Stand up, it's cringe. The only thing, the only reason people think Ray is nice is because of the finished last saying. Oh, God, I don't know if that's true. I'd rather say I work at Walmart than say I'm a stand up. Remember, Shuley once proclaimed Ray was, was the diamond in the rough of the Shuley network. Shuley's trolling Ray. Everyone's trolling Ray. I'm not convinced Ari Jane's not trolling Ray, you know? I'm not. So this insane thing, he keeps going like, get a pen. It's like, like Ray, we can write stand-up jokes and perform stand-up better than you and podcast better than you and still think things are funny. Someone said, all these people sending stuff to you at the comedy cellar is fucking hilarious. Sorry, sorry. Even if you were a better stand-up, it doesn't make this unfunny. You know what I mean? This is still funny regardless of if you're better than all of us at stand-up comedy, which you aren't. You aren't. Right? You're not a bad stand-up. You're a very capable stand-up. That's not even what I'm saying. I, I'll run circles around you, dog. You're an unsure, insecure, fumbling dork. <laughs> what world are you in that you... I don't know why you think nobody else can do stand-up. You're doing it and making a living at it. How hard could it be? How hard could it be? Ray and Chad are running around the country doing gigs for $200. Don't wag your finger at us, dog, about careers. It's gross. I don't get it, Patrick. Call me naive, but aren't you and Ray on the same team, Com comedian, podcasters? Yeah, I look, I, I really don't have anything against Ray. Ray has something against comedy, and Ray's dumb. I Somebody had called in yesterday and goes, would you ever have Ray on the show again? It's like, no, for one reason. For one reason only. 
Ray is an inconsiderate idiot who doesn't listen. Ari Jane can go on that show every night and talk to him and give him advice while he fucking ignores it and just reads the chat and doesn't listen to her at all. I'm not doing it. Carlos Danger, knock yourself out. Head over there. Head over there, Carlos Danger, and, and keep giving the same advice to Ray night after night after night while he ignores you, reads the chat, keeps making the same mistakes, and licking his lips like a reptile. Keep doing it. I don't have the time. Sit and talk to Ray about what? Something he'll forget tomorrow? Why would I? I've seen Groundhog Day. I'm not interested in living it, where every day we have to explain to Ray who he is, what he's doing, what a troll is, why he can't believe the chat. Every fucking day. This is a guy who, who, who again, you've seen steaks, right? You've seen steaks. If you've seen a steak, you wouldn't put that picture of that steak up. So uh, we could rehash 9,000 different things here, but the point is Ray doesn't listen and Ray doesn't learn. It's the same deficiency Chad has. I'm done talking. What, what's Ray going to listen to me and, and change something? He doesn't listen to Ari Jane, a girl he professes to maybe, kind of, one day, possibly, in the future, be in love with. He doesn't listen to Carlos Danger, a man who I'm quite sure he is definitely, most possibly, in love with. These are his best friends who can't stop giving him good advice. He throws it away every day. And, and even more than throwing it away, you can tell he's not even listening. It's not even getting in. It's not registering. He's too thick. It's not his fault, but I don't have time. I've written off idiots. I don't. Life is too short, and I don't have time to keep going around retard racetrack with guys like Ray. I don't. I wish him well. I hope he finds peace. I hope he finds somebody who can rein him in and get him under control and maybe beat some sort of cognitive understanding into that thick candy shell of a brain he has. But I don't hold out a lot of hope for it. I don't think it will happen. And um, I'm not going to be the one to do it. God bless the people out there doing the charity work. Carlos Danger and Harry Jane and Elise and all the other idiots want to stand by his hand every day and keep repeating the same thing and same thing and same thing and same thing and the same thing. He's dumb. He's not going to learn it. He's dry. Guess what he's doing this week? Driving between Ohio and Maryland for $300. Guess what he'll be doing in 10 years? Driving between Ohio and Maryland and New York for $300. This is it. This is it. Bobbleheads in a safety deposit box till I die. Ray DeVito. It's it. So, yeah, it's exhausting to me. And I, I, will I have Ray on? For what? For what? I don't need to have Ray on. We can just watch him be an idiot on his show daily. Like, it's fucking insane that all, like, we're in this to do comedy. We're here to do fucking jokes. We're at a fucking joke. We're at a fucking joke. Put down the fork. You Look at Aries. He's, uh, put down the fork, fatty. Oh, I get it, because I'm fat, I must not be able to write jokes. Because I'm fat, I must be holding a fork all the time. Here I am with my fork. We're going to start selling forks over in the store. Be like Melton, pick up a fork. Fat son of a bitch and write a fucking joke. It just, it's how I know I've won. He can't, he can't, he's mad that I'm fat. <laughs> it'd, be my, it'd be like me being very upset about his gout toes. Why would I care about your physical? Oh, you fat. Ray. Don't. <laughs> She's going, Ray. Ray. You dare kick this angel. They won't let you leave. Oh. <laughs> no, he's trying to fuck shit up. Like, uh, he's, okay, he's trying so to. No one's trying to fuck anything up. We're s it, it, it's sending stuff to the comedy seller because you said people could send you stuff there. You didn't say what. You didn't say you couldn't get an industrial cotton candy maker. You didn't say we couldn't send that.
get people to, like ruin shit for me at the comedy cellar ruin shit this afternoon you said it was great it was gonna make your name there and you it was now an excuse to go all the time now you just walk up to walk up there and you tell SD, oh, I'm here to pick up my Moen faucet. Do you like control? Do. do you like control? You do, right? Do you like control? Do you still feel good? Having I want to have control. I want a perfect body. Control. Yes. Yes. It does. So right now, you need to gain control, like of yourself, because right have another beer, Ray. Take some more pills. Make it all go away. Things are getting better for you. Mix some more alcohol with the medication you're not supposed to mix it with for your depression and your anxiety. Shake more, Ray. Shake for me, Ray. No, no one wants to see you fail and do bad. We're laughing because you can't. Not. The only reason people send things to you at the comedy cellar is because of this. This overreaction. I'm telling you, like, I don't want people sending bulk shit to my P.O. box. Knock it off. It is annoying as fuck. I'm fully aware that may make people send a bunch of bulky shit to my P.O. box. Guess what? I will receive it and immediately leave it at the facility. Because I don't care. And I won't come on here and make a big deal about it and be like, Guys, I got another washer dryer delivered today. You gotta. <laughs> and I sure won't go online and be like, raise a piece of skinny shit. <laughs> Put the pen down and grab a fork. Right now, they're laughing their asses off that they can do this to you. I, I promise you. Like, you're making. Even the concept of it. If no one even does anything, it's still funny. You know? I, I don't even need anybody to send any of this shit. It's, the idea is funny. It works for yourself letting it. You know that he's Melton's got a fake crush on me just to piss you off. Like I'm telling you. Wow. Melton's got a fake crush on me just to piss you off. Aerie. Baby girl. Ain't nothing fake about this crush. never been anything real and I gotta tell you girl what I'm feeling inside oh nothing has ever felt so real girl and I want to crawl up in that gap I want to visit Michigan I want to visit that cereal factory where you be posting up all them cat out and I want to get it He's got a fake crush on me just to piss you off. Does it work? Like it's happening. And, yeah. But look, but look. Thank you for look. keep interacting with him to help him piss Ray. me off. Woo! So now, Ray's, Pat Dixon's talking about digging Ari out. I'm talking about dating Ari and taking her out for a candlelit night on the sea. And Ray is like, yeah, thanks for keeping interacting with him. Thanks for encouraging him. It's like, is Ari J not allowed to be in the chat over here? Is Ari J not allowed to enjoy the show? Maybe she likes shows where fat guys don't write jokes. Maybe that's why she's over here every day. She just likes unfunny, fat motherfuckers who are not successful. She's like, I've had too much Ray. Constantly headlining shows on the road, making that money, getting things shipped to him. He's blowing up $299 from Deadpool. <sighs> I better go over to Melton and cool down. He never prepares or write jokes. And did you see how fat my pussy just <laughs> sucked the moisture back up? He's so obese. <laughs> We need a Patrick Melton album. It's time for and sweet airy Jane. 
are the premier tracks. Is this bitch getting emotionally abused by a guy who isn't fucking her? <laughs> Ray seems like the type of guy who makes salads in the shower. I prepared it while I bathed. She's busy reading The Power of Pussy. Only funny fat guys love my cock. Ray acts like a controlling asshole. As far as I know, Ray has never dated this woman. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, oh, by the way, thanks for, hang thanks for hanging out in their chat. Thanks for still laughing over there with them, you piece of shit. You're a real piece of shit, Ari Jane. By the way, you want to see something really funny? We have uh, 409 current viewers here on the channel and over at steel toe they have 350 so that is very very funny to me it's happening the flipping is among us the flipping is happening just tell a friend and hit the likes we didn't even put uh anybody in charge of likes today i'm gonna put beloved chatter and spaghetti tooth john in charge of likes today I like to have a man and a woman. That way, if uh, it goes bad, we can blame a duo. Come on. Airy Jane, I'm feeling romantic. I got something that fits perfectly in that gap. Does that mean that uh, something is small? Or does that mean the gap is big? Let's find out. Put that towel under the door so they can't hear us. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, 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 oh. Eh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the most telling, they have 900K on Rumble. Fuck. The most telling part of uh, was when Ari Jane said, it's been an amazing it's been amazing for all your friends to watch how famous you've gotten. Yeah, she was on there last night, like, telling Ray about how much he's blown up and how he's starting to, like, his career is really blowing up and taking off. It's like, you realize she's not in the business, so it's like, okay, but it's like, he's in Sackett's Harbor, New York. Head like, I'm not kidding. Like, this is stuff... Every comic did in their first five years. Ray's still doing it. There's a reason like KB and Bob are blown away every time Ray's like, I'm driving between Ohio and New York, Ohio. And it's like, this is for like $200, $300 a ton. We're all blown away. You, you move out of that so early in your career, Ray's 20 years in. Like, I'm headlining this Friday at the fuck fuck for... Peanuts. I wonder if I give 500 to Patrick, I can get hand stuff done. You can get hand stuff, it's 300. Uh, so we had two chances. Hit the like button. Let's get it going for your favorite elderly leader. Nobody's famous. I don't even know how I wound up watching this. Stuff. That's, that's why I like got in an argument with Kevin last week about stuttering John. Like, everyone's trying to convince me stuttering John is famous. Like, I'm, like, I'm just sorry... I guess, yes, in the sense of, like, he's, you know what I mean? Like, what? It, nothing even means anything anymore. Famous? Literally, if you go ask 100 people who Stuttering John is randomly on the street today, it, you're going to be blown away at how few people know. You really are. I think you would be surprised. If you're if you're a Howard Stern fan who grew up with Howard Stern, especially if you're a boomer who's over 60, you can't imagine somebody who doesn't know who Babu Bibu is and Stuttering John and all these people. But it's like I I I I knew none of that. And I'm deadly serious. None of my friends know who Stuttering John is. And younger people fucking forget about it. He's infamous more than famous. Yeah, I guess so. You know, I don't know. YouTube channels you've never heard of at 5 million subs. Exactly. And if you go ask 900 of your parents who Mr. Beast is, they'll all go, what? Who? And it's like, I don't know. He's, he's bigger than Taylor Swift. Do you know what I mean? 
Like for real Z's. If you, you you ask these people like, oh, who's who's like a mega superstar? You go like, you know, Kanye West, Taylor Swift. It's like if I had to pick one guy to put out a bulletin or an alert or promote me, it'd be overwhelmingly, it'd be like, Mr. Beast, please, Mr. Beast. In one hour, nine million people will watch his video. In one hour. Good luck, Taylor Swift. I'm I'm serious. Good luck, Kanye. It is that much of a disparagement. And yet, more people probably know Kanye's name. But I'd be willing to bet dollars to Dinglebats. Mr. Beast's reach and influence is far greater. If you had to have one person tweet out your album your product, your whatever the fuck it is, and you pick Kanye West over Mr. Beast, you probably made a horrible error. Probably made a horrible, horrible error. And yet again, if you went to a mall and asked 100 moms, well, moms maybe, you know what I mean? They're like, people don't know who Mr. Beast is, even though he has 250 collective million YouTube subscribers across 900 channels or whatever he does. So success is very uh, in the eyes of the pink blanket folder. Right. Much appreciated. Right. I am going to be myself. I have every right to be myself. Hold on. I always be off. Like, I'm telling you. I can do this to you. I, I promise you. Like, you're making it worse for yourself letting... It, you know that his Milton's got a fake crush on me just to piss you off. Like I'm telling you, like it's happening. And, yeah. But look, but look, thank you. Milton's got a fake crush on me just to piss you off. I'm telling you, it's happening. Or <laughs> keep interacting with him to help him piss Ray, me off. Ray, uh, much appreciated. Right. I am going to be myself. I have every right to be myself. So Ray doesn't even date this woman. He doesn't have the balls to ask her. She's coming to. Oh. Uh, by the way, she doesn't want any of this known. She doesn't want people to know what city she lives in. She doesn't want people to know where she works. She doesn't want people to know her travel plans. And Ray can't stop announcing it. She's going to Ohio next week. People are like, are you guys going to go out? He's like, yeah, we're going to go out if she'll go out with me. Like, he hasn't asked her. Do you know what we're, we're saying here? It's like, I understand everyone who goes, no one should be this involved in Ray's dating life. This is an invasion of their privacy. Yada, yada, yada. It's like, because it's fascinating, the dynamic. She's coming to Ohio. I know there's some understanding between them that they're going to hang out and have fun and do something, but Ray has yet to plan it or pull the trigger on actually asking her. You know? Fuck, man. What if what if Pat Dixon drives there and makes plans with her first? Again, I think Ray will help put the condom on. I really think he's asexual. I I really do. Salvatore M's got the got it down. It, it like he doesn't want to fuck. He doesn't want to fuck. He doesn't want to be intimate with a woman. I don't know if he wants to be intimate with a man. I I almost would be relieved if he came out as gay and was like, I wish Carlos and I could just scissor because at least that's something. At least he'd feel something. There'd be some passion. I always back you up. If you would pay more attention, you'd realize that instead of getting pissed off. Like, for real, I've been your friend, number one, and even at times where it really was difficult to do that. So instead of appreciating oh, yeah. me, you want to shit on me, which is fine, whatever. It's part of being your friend, I guess. Yeah, no, I didn't even know anything was going on until people like uh, tipped me off that he's trying to get people to send stuff to the comedy cellar. Like, so she, he didn't even hear all that she just said. You understand? This is why I have no interest in talking with Ray. He said to her, I really appreciate you keep interacting with Melton and encouraging him. And she said, Ray, I'm going to be me. I'm going to do what I want to do, but I always have your back. I've always had your back. Even when it was difficult for me to have your back, I had your back. 
and you you want to just berate me instead of be appreciative for that support. But I guess that's just what being friends with you is. And then his response to that, he heard none of that. His response to that was, yeah, I didn't even know he was fucking with me until someone told me he was telling people to send stuff there. It's like, that's not what the conversation was even on. You had left that behind, and she was talking about the fake crush just to annoy you, and then you said, yeah, by the way, thanks for encouraging him and hanging out. And then she did that whole explanation about how hard it is to be your friend sometimes because you don't support, see her support for him. And his response to all that was, yeah, so I guess he's sending packages and I didn't even know. He's not listening. He's not there. She's, she's involving herself in these conversations that are intimate and personal. And, 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 you know, she's being vulnerable to him. It's hard to be your friend in certain times because you don't listen and you're not understanding that I am giving you support and I am sticking up for you. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess he's sending packages to that. Just A woman he may potentially want a relationship with and love, he's not listening. What chance do I have? A fat fuck who can't write a joke. What chance do I have to get through to this fucking ape? This is a fucking unplugged member of society. So everyone can pretend that I'm being mean and I'm a bully and all this shit. He ain't right. He ain't right. He he has no empathy. He has no listening skills, and he can't have any sort of conversation about anything of substance for any length of time because he gets flighty. He sees a shiny object. He hears a word he knows, and then he just goes off on a tangent. Start humming a song he knows while you're in the middle of a a fight with him and watch him go. Mention uh, the Four Seasons or Tommy and the Shondells in the middle of a fucking involved emotional conversation and watch him just go off singing. It, this isn't a guy. He's, he is broken. (laughs) That doesn't mean he's bad. And I do wish him the best and stuff, but it's like, Stop acting like you're functioning on the same level as us, right? This is this is my main complaint. It's like he's trying to tell Ari, like, no, nah, these all these guys are doing all this stuff. It's like, Ray, you're on a different plane. You're on a different level than all you're not functional. Fuck. So like you you miss everything. You don't know what's going on. Trying to get people to send their garbage to the comedy cellar. Right, it's going to be okay. It's going to be. Okay. Gonna be, it's, it's gonna be no, okay. right. It is what it is. What's going to happen is going to happen. People are going to send what they're going to send. Shut up about it. This is why they're doing it. It's funny to watch you lose it. Okay. They talk to the comedy cellar and they're like, it's, "Yeah, it, people yes, fucking troll fine. comedians all the time." Spent the weekend at a wedding in Lakewood. Nice. Lakewood is pretty cool. Like what is and then he keeps going like it's gonna be fine. They get that kind of stuff all the time. I'm like, keep saying that. It ain't gonna be fine. I promise you, this is gonna be an unprecedented level of bulk being delivered to this. Because you keep going, it's gonna be nothing. They're gonna do nothing. It's like, uh, learn the internet. Be contrite. Come on here and go like, guys, please don't send stuff to the comedy seller. Like, they, please don't do that. No, you're coming on going like. Fuck that fat fuck. It's not going to be anything. They get it all the time. It's like, okay, well, now now we're going to fill out adoption forms for Chinese babies and have them dropped at the doorstep. It's going to get really, really weird, complicated, and involved. I guarantee you. It's cool. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Shmuel Buckman. Yeah. Don't dare take off this angel. Stevie Luke. Oh, producer Joe, if you're watching from uh, Shuley Network, did, did that work out for you guys today or not? Um, cause I'll tell people, uh, where they can just let me know if that worked out. You know what I'm talking about? He's already gone. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, hey, AJ, how that. much to kick Ray off? <laughs> so she started talking and he talked over. This is what I'm talking about. 
He's not paying attention to this woman. He's way more interested in the chat and what's going on in his own head. Watch this. <laughs> so. Hey, AJ, how much? So she goes, so the universal indication that she's about to say something to him that she wants to say. So. And then he goes, all right, we got a super chat. To kick Ray off. <laughs> it'll just be, uh, uh, it'll just be your show, Jason. You get me. You replaced him with Carlos because I really need to talk to Carlos. Why? What happened? I don't know. He, this is the second time I, he was in one of my dreams. Not the second. The second time he was in one of my dreams. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Actually, what? <laughs> Not sexually. I'll send him. I'll and like a normal person wouldn't even think that. But she has to say that because it's Ray, like not sexually Ray. Don't don't get emotional. I sent him a link earlier, but I'll send it again. See. Uh, BS show is gonna be on the backup Shuli channel. Okay, that's what I was asking about. I didn't know if because if they were gonna be on their regular channel today, they weren't gonna uh, announce. I talked to Joe last night. Um, they got a strike situation. Um, over on the BS, the uh, Shuli Network. So they weren't uh, sure if they were going to be able to do the BS show on the Shuli Network channel this morning, and I guess they aren't. So I think there's a Miserable Men channel. Uh, the Miserable Men channel is what I was told they're going to be doing it on today if they couldn't get the strike resolved by this morning. People do identify with him, though. The boy just ain't right. Yeah, I mean, they identify with him because we all grew up with a simple Jack type of character. Again, like, you don't even, like, all the cues are there. The guy licks his lips every other word. He's like a simple guy. Like, he's broken. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I think if you're going to watch the BS show, it's going to be on the uh, Miserable Men channel. Uh, if you want to watch that, I don't know. I'm sending people away from this show, but you're going to do what you want to do anyway. You know what I mean? So I don't really care. Um, so yeah, I think they're on the miserable men channel today. The Shuli network. I'm sure they'll be talking about it. What happened? Uh, I kind of know what happened, but I think, um, I don't think it's what they think it is. I think it'll be resolved fairly quickly. I don't think it's a copy uh, copyright strike. It's a different type of deal. Ban evasion. Yeah, I don't know if they're banned. I don't know how it works. The strike is not for copyright, I, I don't believe. The Brandon Network struck their channel. No, I don't think so. Either way, I, they'll explain it, I, I'm sure on the BS network. Uh, we're going to get to another great moment coming up here on the Airy Jane hour with Ray. He divulges so much. This is the other problem too, is another one of these guys like in the past three months, he's just gotten it in his head. I'll go live twice a day with absolutely no talent, no plan. And the, and to have the absolute gall to say something to me like, um, you know, Write a joke. What do you have? No talent? You can't write a joke. It's like, Ray. Ray, you li you go live every day. It's like it's MLC without the funny. That's what Ray's show is. Ray thinks he can just go live and read Super Chats too with no planning or anything. It's like, do you even know what a podcast is, idiot? Do you fucking know what a podcast is? Look at yourself, you fucking out of it idiot. You name every show you do going live at and then a time. That's what you name your shows. Because that's all there is to them. Going live at 10. Going live at 10.04. What are we going to talk about? No fucking idea. I'm Ray. And I have a fucking tin can head with nails rattling around in it. Come see what falls out. Going live with Ray. Going live, shut the fuck up. I'd rather be fat than dumb anytime. I'd rather have brains and carbs 
jammed into me until no more can fit than to be an empty vessel coasting through life, wagging his finger at other people when I'm so played out I don't even realize it. What fucking planet are you going live? Then what? Then what? What are you going to do when you go live, Ray? Tell everybody they can't talk about stuff? Don't say that. Don't say that. Keep that down. Don't mention his name. We don't say that. Don't say that. Uh, And not listen? You fuck? Fuck. Will you ever have Ray on and talk to him? Imagine. Imagine. Why don't I just get a magic eight ball, spin it around, and call it lunch? If you can jump on. Well, um, it's not bad or anything. I just, I need to, yeah, I just need, I need some Carlos time. I think we all always need some. I need some Carlos time. Some Carlos time. We need some Carlos time? Yeah. Don't you think? Uh, I will text him too. <laughs> Make sure any venue of communication you have, I would like you to try it to get him on here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what corrects me at those because if they check okay if you send a twitter and a text like well they'll get one or the other but if they check their phone i don't know what what what, uh what happened with you and carlos in your that's the other thing it's like half these guys half of ray's shows that he does is his him going live and trying to figure out a guest who he can get on yeah i'll send carlos a link i'll send those this is the show the show is you going live, going, who can we get? Who can we get? What do we want to talk about? Might I suggest you not go live? Might I suggest you just not? Hey, no plan, no ideas, no jokes, no guest. Going live at 10.04. That's the Ray DeVito podcast plan. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Pick up a pen and write. Fuck. Fuck. It, it, it's insane. <laughs> what happened to you, Carlos Danger, in your dream? Well, the first dream that I had, it was it was just goofy because I was at a carnival or something like that. And I I don't know who I was with, but I had lost like my way or whatever. And he kept kind of popping up along the way and saying left and right, like giving me direction. Or what something. is it? Army Ranger? No. And I right. just I didn't even see yeah. him. I just heard his right. voice. And then um the second one that I had last night. He was in two dreams. So you did say two dreams. Yeah. So the one he's in. <laughs> nah. That's yeah. uh that's old Primus song. Sacha Baker is Yeah, I think I think somebody in the chat's right. I think instead of like Ray viewing Carlos Danger is coming in and monopolizing Ari Jane's time. He views Ari Jane as competition for monopolizing his Carlos time. It's my name. Well, well basically, yes, sir. just to sum, to sum it up, he the, it ended with him going, Ari, watch out. Like, and I saw him and I was like, and I woke up. So I you saw it, Carlos Danger. Yes, was yelling. He goes, Ari, watch out!" Like that at me. So I don't know. I will I say this: know. the viewership went way up since you came on. It's not the Shuli Network is just a series of people going live, and we. I, I, I disagree with that. I really do. Like, um, I don't know about the other show. I don't watch a lot of the other shows, but I the BS show. I'll typically like when this show's over. Uh, when I have a couple hours of work to do before I go take a nap or something in the middle of the day, I'll go watch an hour or two of the BS show. It's They do have planned segments, content, funny bits, games. And, and, and by the way, it might not even matter because at least Shuli and Bob are entertaining and can kind of riff. Ray can't riff. Ray can't riff and be funny. The guy who, who's wagging his finger at everybody again about getting a pen out and writing jokes. It's like, Ray, I'll, I'll write funnier jokes than you. I'll be funnier on stage than you. And I'll podcast better than you. They're not mutually exclusive. I'll do all of those things better than you. Objectively. To a, to a stranger crowd. To a crowd of absolute unknowns. 
I'm not, I'm not even worried. It's not even a question about it. I'll, I'll wrangle you to the ground in any category. Name it. I don't know where you get this idea that you're like some bandit stand-up who can really take them down. Like, you can't. You are a mediocre Cleveland middle. Mediocre. Like, you're a, you're a, a, you're a c- competent comedian. You can stand up and do your time sometimes. Not in Pottsville, but most of the time. I, you're not honest with yourself, man. You're not plugged in. You're not available to the universe. Arrest Ray. I'm not sure why, but he's done something terrible. I can feel it in my balls. Don't, because Carl will say, Ray is the dabble versus Kevin Costner, a.k.a. paint drying. How dare you, Tatanka? Don't be gross. Delethian, hit like. See, beloved chatter is doing good today. This might be This might be how we handle this. Doesn't Ari Jane look like she's smoking here? She always confuses me. <laughs> it's timing. The toxicity also went, but that was me. The toxicity of our cities, of our cities. No. Like, I got blindsided. You're great now. You're bullshit. fine. Yeah. Whatever. Ray, can you give me and all the kids a shout out? Yes. Albert Fish. Shout out to Albert Fish and all the kids. He supposedly has a big hog. Do you, Patrick? No, I had mine removed. It kept getting in the way. Yeah, how was your day? What'd you do today? <laughs> Let's play a game. Guess what I did? <laughs> um, I went touch the grass, as they as they say. You garden. Don't you garden all day? That's what you do. That's my favorite thing to do when I can. Yeah. And what do you grow in the garden? Some swimming and. Um, oh, you swam. You swam outside. Yeah, I'm outside to play today. Yeah. You swam outside. You guys swam outside. What'd you do? Did you have the swimming pool there. Oh, it's spaghetti to John. Uh, nine ninety nine. This is our hourly like button check. Even if Patrick has made you mad, just fake it and hit the like button. Just like Ray fakes being interested in girl. Wow. Whoa. Big if true. <laughs> Ray, fa- like, why fake? That's the thing. Is like, again, if he comes out being gay, I'll be relieved because it's like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> it's the complete like. That's why I told I was yesterday. I said I was like, Ari, don't come to AC. Bob said Ari Jane was coming to Atlantic City, and I was like, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Not that, like, she's not a free woman who can go anywhere she wants to go, but, like, first of all, I don't know why Ray's coming to Atlantic City just to be abused. He said he's not now. He might have a big gig. But can you imagine Ari Jane in Atlantic City and all the all the fucking podcast dorks gathering around her because girl... And Ray trying to white knight and protect her the whole time, just circling her. Like, leave Ari Jane alone. Leave Ari Jane. Don't talk about Ari Jane. Leave leave Ari Jane alone. Leave Ari Jane. Come on. Leave Ari Jane alone. Uh, Shuli has a team of people to make him look funny, but take Shuli by himself, and you'll see, well, then whatever. He has a team. He was smart enough to put a team around him then. Yeah, either way, your argument makes Shuli look good. It's like, if Shuli couldn't do it on his own, okay. Then get a team. And then he got a team, and it's good. You know, whatever. Um, I, I, I don't, look. Everybody doesn't have to be the funniest person. A lot of times, like, radio listening to radio in the background and I can I count this show as radio even though it's not radio this is the kind of thing you put on in the morning leave it on in the background it's just kind of on while you work it helps pass the time familiar characters a familiar voice familiar chat people it's all kind of the same thing um 
you know, it's a community. It really is. And they're, speaking of the devil, here's Harry Jane. That's one reason I'm not going for sure. I mean, it really is. It would be too much. And I and look, I, it would be a lot for Harry Jane, I think, for from the men. Attention from the men folk at the place. And God knows I've contributed that and uh, and probably not helped. But I would say that I honestly think most of Aries' anxiety and preoccupation at that event, if she were to come, would be Ray's emotional anxiety surrounding her and his constant need to, like, babysit, helicopter... Um, micromanage all of her interactions with everybody in this world. I really, I really believe that he would do that to her. And just, she wouldn't be able to like relax and like chill and have a good time because of Ray. Like Ray and her might be good together, but only on an island where Ray doesn't have to deal with society. Because if Ray has to deal with other, you know, like a waiter coming up and talking to Ari incorrectly, he, he'll he lose his mind. Uh, oh, my God, I almost went to Shuli's disaster. Can you imagine by myself? I'd look like such a freak. <laughs> Uh, the uh, the audiences are at least 90% men, and they can't handle when a woman shows up. Um, it's obvious now 100% Patrick is on Team Shuli and just trying to push Shuli onto his audience. It's called Free Meats Snake. Imagine if that was true. Uh, when Ray DeVito gets around women, his stomach gets the bubble gumps. Send Lawrence's wife salsa the link. Oh God, we're gonna have fun on Thursday. That vid- the vid- the whole court video is wild. It's wild. Uh yeah, why not, Nightbot? This is a great reminder to sign up for the overdose. Be like Teamster Tim. Head over to nobody likes onions.com slash overdose today. Join the overdose with the promo code again and pay only nine dollars a month and get every bit of content nobody likes onions has put out for your perusal and consumption. Huh? Nobody likes onions.com slash overdose. Use promo code again, $9 a month. That's cheaper than overdose light right here on YouTube. And you get everything directly over on our website. Head over there and check it out. If you're lazy, join the overdose light level here on YouTube and get access to the video versions of the shows, um, the private members only shows here on YouTube and support the show. If not, $1.99 membership gets you access to the chat room and to watch all the live shows. We appreciate the support over here. Also, the store, uh, we got our rainbow gay hats, which have been very popular this week. Thank you so much to Ski Mask for the inspiration of the gay onion hat. Nobodylikesonions.com slash store. Check it out today. We got mugs. We got travel mugs, hats, shirts. Support the show. Pick one up today. And if you're an Overdose member, of course, you'll get 15% off all merchandise automatically when you're logged in. Support the show. Thanks so much. You're all dads. Uh, Patrick's show today is called Prove to Me Shuli is Hated. And when when, do, when we do, Patrick pushes the line. Shuli sucks by himself. Okay, Pat is in the Shuli business. He will soon learn. All right, I've entertained it too much. You're out of your minds. Uh, people know that's not true. Like, what do you think? Sammy goes on some crazy, crazy conspiracies, but like, what do you think? What? Hold on. What do you think now? Shuli gives me stakes, and I, in exchange, I come on and say what? Shuli's good? I don't know if Shuli's good or not. I'm not making judgments about people's talent levels and abilities. I'm telling you, you can put on the BS show, and it's entertaining and fun. The guys are having a good time. They're laughing. I find myself laughing, and it's fun. Just what it is. By the way, same with MLC. By the way, same with who are these podcasts. Sorry about my honesty. 
Am I a, am I a shill for all of those people, or is that just an opinion that I find to be true for me? It's going to be so funny to see KB just standing at the poker room like 20 dorks start standing around. Melton isn't a stern guy, so he isn't aware of Shuley's career of not being funny. It doesn't even matter. I, I, this is constant, like the siren song of fucking idiot. Who cares what was? Who gives a fuck? Who's more admirable? Who's more admirable? Stuttering John or Shuley? Stuttering John is standing around telling everyone he's still a star that commands top dollar and headlines at clubs. None of that is true. None of that is true. He's a substitute teacher who can't afford his own house. That's the reality. That's the, that's the ground we're actually standing on. Shuley was a loser and got ridiculed on Stern and has never done anything funny. Kay, he started a network now and he's doing fine. He's, he's making a living and supporting his family and he has a show that I enjoy. None of that's not true. None of it. I believe you. He was a fucking complete loser. Bob Levy was a fucking loser. These guys are hacks. These guys are dorks. They were always made fun of on Stern. They were the lowest rung of the ladder on Stern. Shuley was just a whack pack wrangler. Was, was, was. Chad used to have a car and not be a drunk. What else was? The Georgia Guidestones used to point to... What was? Holy shit. Holy shit. I was talking to somebody the other day, and they're like, Stuttering John may have more infamy than I will ever have. He may be more well-known than I will ever be. Anyone want to trade places with him today? Anybody? That's what I thought. How's he doing now? Where do you work? A grocery store? Would you trade places with Stuttering? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Somewhere there's a guy listening who hates his wife, family, daughters, fathers, mothers, sons. They're poor. They have no money. Their house is being repossessed. Their car is being repossessed. Their dog is leaking oil. And that guy wouldn't switch places with Stuttering John. So how's he doing? Is he famous? Who would you rather be, Shuley or Stuttering John? That's a good way to put it. Who would you rather be, Shuley or Stuttering John? I couldn't sign on the line of Shuley fast enough. Don't get me wrong. There may be a day. We're actually going to dive into it in a few minutes. Shuley's cult. There may be a day we uncover some horrible, heinous shit about Shuley. There may be a day Shuley turns on me. There may be a day it all goes south and we find out Shuley is a... I'm not closed off to it. I'm not. You're closed off to the fact that he might just be a guy. <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling he's just a guy trying his best to do a comedy show and other people are, ma you know, other people are making money. Out. He's paying people. So why does it have to be? Everything is gray. Everything is in the, in the middle. You think he's the devil? Probably not. You think I think he's a comedy god? Probably not. But just because I won't come hopscotching down Hellfire Lane with you, agreeing that Shuli is the most heinous person on the planet, I must be a Shuli shill. Okay. Yeah, the guy sent me some steaks. He seems nice. He seems not. I didn't ask for the steaks. He didn't go, if I give you these steaks, you better say good things about him. He didn't go, you better talk nice about my network. He's gone out of his way to be nice to me and to do nice things. Now, he might like me. He might want my show on his network. He might have ulterior motives. I'm aware of all that. Regular rules. Regular rules of life. But that kind of is the golden rule, isn't it? Treat others how you want to be treated. Maybe Shuley's doing nice things for me today, and maybe down the road I'll do nice things for him. Maybe that is what he's up to. What a devious cuck. I thought that's what we were all doing. I thought it was just regular rules. You treat people genuinely, you know, how you'd want to be treated. 
There's a reason I don't pile on Ian Hawk when he's in a vulnerable position and everyone else is making it's like because you wouldn't want that. So it, it's very easy to I, I would just suggest that nothing is like anyone thinks it is if, if, if you're on an extreme. I, I just, and everybody's like, can you stop saying network? It's not a network. It's a YouTube channel. It's a network. I don't know. What else are we doing? It's a bunch of shows. He, he wants to call it a network. It's a fucking network. Get over it. Who cares? You seem to be obsessed with calling it not a network. It's not a network, guys. Okay, I didn't know that you were the Network Accreditation Society. Who gives a shit? What's the definition of a network? I think it fits, actually. So I don't... What are we doing? Why do you need Shuli to be an evil snake Jew? That's the question. Again, I don't think he's like some saint comedy god. Probably in the middle. Probably in the middle. Probably just a guy. Probably a guy just doing a show. Yeah, he's a try-hard mark. That's not a crime. It's his career. It's his livelihood. I hope he's trying hard. Try. Try. Swim, little buddy. <laughs> Fucking hell. But, yeah, I'm not familiar with his history. Maybe he's a complete loser, and we'll turn on him. Keep, keep me posted. Let's compare jokes. Melton, here. Let me get my pen and big chief tablet. Where's my pen? Oh, there it is. It has a Blink 182 eraser on the end. Man, I, I love Blink 182. Leave the light on. Carry me home. La, 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 la. Anyway, my joke is, how do you keep a fat man in suspense? This nigga loves Shuli, yo. <laughs> I mean, I, I, re I just realized people think that. It's like, I don't. Do you understand that, like, you're all so against him with no evidence that, yeah, it does push me in the other direction. It makes me go, like, no, there's nothing wrong with this guy. It's the, sa it's the same thing that we did with Stevie Lou. It's like, I'm listening. Go ahead. And everybody's like, oh, he's a snake. He's a hack. He steals. He's a bad guy. Please link me to an example. Uh, <laughs> like... Melton, he stole your idea. It's like, did he? I wa I watched uh, a clip of uh, uh, Carl arguing about Opie and him and and Jocktober, who invented it and who was first and all this. It's like again, holy shit! Not to pull rank, I was doing it before both of you. Opie and Anthony and Carl. And I still don't have this entitledness like you do to the bit. Not even arguable. Not even not even like I need to sit here and, and like defend myself. I was doing it in 2005. We had a jingle for it. Opie and Anthony didn't do it for three years after that. And then Carl for years and years after that. I was first for Jock to I was first. And I don't even have a big head about that because you know why? It's easy and anyone can do it. If I didn't do it, someone else would have. And if they didn't do it, someone else would have. And if Carl didn't do it, somebody else would have. It's not a genius bit. I've said it a million times. Pausing something and talking over it and playing it and adding commentary, this is the easiest thing you can do. People do it to me. I do it to other people. I'm better at it. That's why it looks like it's something. It's nothing. It's dumb. It's dumb. This is so fucking easy to put on a show and talk shit about, which is why it looks even worse when Ray can't. Thanks for joining Savannah Marie Crum. You're on the wall today. That's why, like, Ray and all these four square shows don't have clips and don't put anything up and don't have anything to talk about. It, it's egregiously lacking because it's so easy having clips and talking over and making fun of these this, this is the bare minimum you should have and do holy shit so that's why every everything's comparative you know what i mean 
But yeah, I'm sorry. When you look at something like the BS show versus Ray show or, you know, it's like, I, it's night and day. It ain't me sucking up the shuli. One's a show and one's a mentally ill man who doesn't understand how the earth functions. Yeah, there's... <laughs> Where's your swimming pool? <laughs> Oh yeah, this is this is this kid's really awkward and good. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry about the tangent. Sorry about the tangent. Everything's fine. Julie's a piece of shit. I agree. It's funny, like the location stuff or the like what's here. Um, I didn't know you had a swimming pool. Like I don't have a swimming pool. It's not mine, technically. So whose pool is it? I so like she keeps this is what I'm talking about, Ray not listening. She's set, indicated several different times she doesn't want to talk about this. Several times she's made it very clear, like, stop getting into personal info. I guess if you're a chick, you can swim in any swimming pool. It's no like one's families. gonna be like, yeah, no one's gonna be like, no, you can't swim in this pool. So your family has a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. All right, well then it is kind of your swimming. Well, I mean. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? Is so it's boring. It's... <laughs> but Ari does this too, where she like goes on every show, and she's like, "I don't have any talk about this. this. Is boring. Why would I go on the show?" It's like, but you go on every show. Weren't you on three shows last night? <laughs> How do you decide whose show you're willing to go on and not have anything interesting to say? So you'll go on Ray's show with nothing to talk about, nothing to say. No, it's, I want to, so, I didn't know you had a who swimming cares? pool. Who cares where or what? Like, so yeah. And then. Is it above it, ground or underground? This, uh, it's above. An above ground pool, everybody. <laughs> An above ground pool. The. Batman beacon of the pores. Above, okay. All right. My sister has a swimming pool. It's above ground, too. Yeah. No, there's something nice. about it. Like, yeah. Ray is that guy, like, when a word comes up that he knows or a topic that he knows something about, he has to give you all the information on it. Were you in an above ground pool or an in ground pool? Above ground pool. Oh, I, I've been in above ground pools. My sister has an above ground pool. I saw some above ground pools at Walmart once. Cool, Ray. Anyway. Yeah, but I mean, some of the There's fountains. There's a hot tub, too. That one's, that's my favorite place to go. Yeah, it's got yeah. all the fountains. Ari Jane, I got a 14-foot-long hot tub. If you want to come on out. All the shoots. All the jets. Where you want them to go. It's wonderful. All the shoots. Big shoots. Wonderful. Where they want to go right near hoo-ha. Does it feel good? I don't know if, like, Is that where you that. want it to go? I don't know if people do that. No, because it so does the sound feel... you make when you get in and hit you like. Wah! Well, there is something like I will admit, like uh, uh oh, like I'm like uh, too immature for a bidet because I'm not around bidets a bunch. But like when you feel a bidet and you're like, ooh, ooh. Okay, what? Ray's talking about when a bidet hits his butt, how he likes the feeling. You listening to this, Carlos Danger? And you're like, you're like literally like a little kid. Like, at least I am. I'm a little kid. Like, ooh, let's do that again. And you're like, ooh. Who's let's? Who's in the bidet with you? You used a bidet and your feeling is let's do that again. So you turn to the bathroom attendant and put, he, what, he puts in another quarter? Ooh. ooh. Like, it's really like. Ooh. Make your gay noises again, Ray. Ooh. And you're like. Yeah. <laughs> The bubble got it's a bunch, but like when you feel a bidet and you're like, ooh, ooh, and you're like, yeah, I, you're like literally like a little kid, like at least I am. Like, I'm a little kid, like, ooh, let's do that again. Like when my uncle used to come in and put a stream of water up my butt, ooh, let's do that again. And you're like, ooh, ooh, like it's <laughs> really like it's supposed to be like, uh, yeah, like you, you'll fool. Yeah, like sometimes you'll stay at hotels that actually have bidets when you're like in a nice place, but and you're like, ooh, just because I'm not around them often. 
We need to get you on Amazon a portable one. I think they'd probably come in fanny packs or something. There you go. Comedy seller. Let's send Ray bidets. Ray's bidets. If that's not a business that would succeed in Cleveland, Ohio, I don't know what would. This comedy stuff doesn't work out. Ray's bidets. Hi, I'm Ray. Do you ever sit down on your toilet and not go, whoo, I can fix that. I'm Ray. Since 2023, I've sold the greater Cleveland area fantastic options for bidets for their toilets. Whether you're looking for a new toilet with the hottest technology and built-in warm jet water streaming or some add-on piece for your shitty trailer that can turn your modern-day standard toilet into a hot water spraying serpentine pleasure center, come on down to Ray's Bidets. We'll hook you up. We have bidets for any budget. You have thousands of dollars, we'll come to your house and we can do everything from the plumbing to the tile inlays. You have a hundred dollar budget, my cousin Gary comes down, swishes some warm Poland Springs water around his mouth and blows it right into your coolie. We have any bidet for any budget, any day of the week. So come on down to Ray's Bidets and tell them Airy sent you. No, they're only I don't I don't I don't want one want one. I don't want one want one. But here's what I will do. What? Like after like if I go to the bathroom and like it's like like I'll do it a, a lot if the oh, God. if the uh, the sink is close to the toilet. Oh no. I haven't heard this, but I don't like where this is going. What I will do is if I go a lot and the sink is next to the toilet, go on. And by the way, hit the like button for this. If anything deserves 200 likes, it's this. It's this. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm done, I like wet some more and like I'll do it like I'll, I'll wet it. Like, I mean, I do it dry and then I'll like wet and do it. Is he talking about toilet paper or his asshole or what? He never really specifies. A lot if the if I want one, one. But here's what I, I will think, do. What? Like after like if I go to the bathroom and like it's like like I'll do it a, a lot if the She's already laughing. She's already laughing. He's not saying what he's gonna wet. Somebody said this is the greatest. I agree. <laughs> If the uh, the sink is close to the toilet, Mm -hmm. like when I'm done, I like wet some more and like I'll do it. Wet some more. I I hope he means toilet paper, although that's still retarded. If you wet toilet paper, it immediately disintegrates. (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? Even if you got quilted northern, the minute you wet it, you're against the clock. That stuff is made to break down in liquid immediately. But like, I'll, I'll wet it. Like, I mean, I do a try, and then I'll. Uh, he's like telling us how he wipes. He's telling her how he wipes, and she's just covering her mouth. I, I'm, I'm fucking floored, dog. Like wet, and do it. I do you do that? How do you do it? I don't know. We're just <laughs> personal stuff. Like I do the, I do it dry, but then also I like to be safe. <laughs> you know what you should do, Ray. Next time, dip your, dip a bunch of toilet paper into rubbing alcohol, and then just shove it down your throat until you can't breathe. And like take like run out of the faucet and like do a wet. Okay, here's how I feel about the that is that you're getting now you're getting those particles. Right. I mean, toilet paper comes up. Uh, toilet paper starts coming up. It's not the same as a wet wipe. Which, by the way, how are you not using wet wipes? I, I, are we all in modern day society? We're using wet wipes. Don't we all have Jeff Closer send us wet wipes every month and wipe our ass with wet wipes? By the way, Jeff Closer, this is a on a personal note. He sent in those um, those Cottonelle or whatever wet wipes a couple months ago. 
And I, I'm going to just break the fourth wall. We're a Huggies household. I use Huggies, flushable wipes, unscented, unperfumed, plain Huggies, unscented wipes. They cannot have a perfume. Your asshole will burn. <laughs> you don't want scented, perfumed, laundry detergent smelling wipes. You want plain wipes. And then this Jeff Closer guy sent in all these wipes and stuff. I don't waste stuff. So I took the wipes. They were unopened wipes. Threw them under the cabinet. And then the other day I needed um, wipes. And I reached for those. Jeff the Dell Closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I reached for those wipes and I wiped with it. And they were the perfume ones. And I was like, whoa. Something about that perfume. Something about that scented. You don't want to wipe your your sensitive little red eye with those uh those wipes. And God says flushable isn't flushable. You sound like my wife. You sound like my wife. But what I tell her is, you don't want me taking my wipes and putting them in the garbage can I, I you know my wipes when i wipe with a wet wipe i'm scooping out shit just lumps and clumps and giant baseball softball mitts of shit just wrapping them in the wet wipe holding them like a little stork package i dip it in hot water and make tea these are jokes. It's like the paper particles, and they're not all going to come off you. Some of them are going to be stuck to you, and they're going to be... She's going to go down on him, and he's going to be covered in little toilet paper bits. Stuck to you with your poo on him still. So, unless it's a wet wipe. A wet wipe is different. It's yeah, that's fibrous. what people do. I don't have wet wipes. That's what people do. I don't have wet wipes. That's what people do. Ha, ha, ha. I've heard about these humans and these wet wipes. Go on. With me. So it's they more just, me like just, just sticking front to the back paper to the nothing faucet. anymore. Yeah, just front to back so you don't see anything more. Front to back. She's, ha she's telling him he has to wipe front to back. <laughs> Imagine Ray's balls getting an infection because he's been wiping back to front. This is disgusting. More, and then another one just to be sure. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't you, do. You, you can't do too much twist. front. <laughs> yeah, you can't do too much front to back because then, like, it'll be too sore. What the fuck are these people talking about? I, I, I I'm blown away. You can't do too much front to back, or you'll be sore. I got to hit my button. I mean, what is he saying here? Is he just saying if you wipe too much, you'll be sore? Or is he saying that he changes his wiping direction to avoid irritation? Because she's going, apropos of nothing, she's bringing it up. She's just like, I am talking to an idiot. I better say the most basic wiping 101 thing I can say. You got to wipe front to back. She just throws that out. And then Ray says, yeah, but you can't wipe front to back too much. You'll get sore. Again, there's two ways to unpack that. He's saying... He's just saying if you wipe too much, too hard, whatever, you'll get sore. Or he's saying, no, after a while, you got to switch it up back to front. I mean, it sounds like the second one. It sounds like he's saying he has to <laughs> side to side. Side to side? Holy shit. I've never even thought about that, but it blew my mind. Just when you think Colt C's lost. That's funny.
side to side? How would that even... You go down one valley and up the other? How does a side to side wipe work? Blue's mama says no to this conversation entirely. Well, we got to figure it out. I got to know if he's wiping back to front, if he's, you know, pinch hitting mid. You got to be gentle. <laughs> she is dying. She is dying. Yeah, but you can't do. You, you can't do too much twist. front. <laughs> yeah, you can't do too much front to back because then, like, it'll be too sore. You got to be gentle. <laughs> it's still like it's it's. He says the most mind blowing shit. <laughs> Ray wipes like I mow my lawn. Cross hatched. <laughs> gotta be gentle, man. That's so happy. Mary Jane, love you. Join that's the Joey oh, C network. Funny. David Skywalker. Fucking hell. Oh, he's a he's Skywalker. a fan of yours. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. It's a good a good egg. It's a good yeah. carton there. Oh, that's good. <laughs> he's a good guy. He got mad when I had to block him. I had to block him because he he's one of the guys that texted me when my phone number was out. And it was more like, dude. Oh, he texted. But he's, it's David Skywalker. Yeah, I, I know, but I mean, it's just. Again, it's because he has a little crush on me, so they can get all pissed off. He's a handsome guy, but it's more like, all right, just, Ray, you should write a book That's on That's not him. his picture. He's a handsome guy. It's like, do you hear that? Like, these are the off-handed little nothing comments that everybody makes, but Rays are, Rays are like super gay. And look, he's a handsome guy. It's like, that's not a thing normal men say in casual passing. Oh, you've seen him in real life? I don't know. Like, have you? Yeah, it's also weird. No, but you tell me, like, sometimes. Did you say like, he's handsome? Did you just I say thought he's that's handsome. him. That's <laughs> That's not him? Ray, what the fuck are you not getting every day, bitch? Like, holy shit, every day. You have to tell Ray what the internet is daily. Every day you have to go, Ray, this is the internet. People lie. Oh, that's not him? That's not his real picture? That's not a government verified ID? And Harry Jane's doubled over because it's like it, every day re-explaining to Ray the most basic shit. Ray, this all started with me and you because you're an idiot who believes everything your chat says. Here we are three months later with you believing everything your chat says. I'm not saying that's not him. Harry's not saying it's not him. What we're saying is, why speculate? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. The fact that you can't wrap your head around it not being is insane. You know, oh, he's handsome. Why do you think that's his picture? That could not be his picture? That's the... That's the that's the inclination I have a real issue with. Not even the, ah, oh, he looks like a handsome guy. Ari Jane comes back with, what makes you think that's his real picture? And Ray goes, that could not be his real picture? Why wouldn't it be his real picture? You think that's not his real picture? It's like, Ray, it's the internet. Nothing could be anything. Anything could be everything. And everything could be nothing. Do you get it yet? Men can be women, women can be men, Ray can be funny, Patrick can be fat. Everything can be, come with me and you'll see there's a world in front of your fucking delusion. You're correct, made your brain not work and we're gonna need a final solution. <laughs> it's a no from me, dog. You get Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. If you want to see ignorance, simply look around and view it. Every Janus has a tooth. Okay. <laughs> Gene Wildest. Yeah. I learned from someone that the best way to wipe is to 
spell out the alphabet as you wipe. It works, but it uses 26 pieces of toilet paper. So it's kind of wasteful. I tried a bidet and I really like it when I use a bidet. I make sounds like, oh, you, you, you. Carlos, oh, um, uh, uh, Carlos, danger. I love it. Oh, 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 my. Have you looked at, have you looked at the... He looks like a dude wearing a Naxima mask. I thought that was him. <laughs> so how is he good looking? It's a good point. The guy's wearing a full-on face mask, like a skincare mask. Ray's gay, dog. That's How so personal do you know these? David Skywalker says, real pick, real name, really already hit that like button. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that it couldn't be. It's just like the fact that it could be fake blows Ray away on a daily basis. Every day, Ray is amazed that the internet may not be nice and or real. <laughs> Every day, that's like new information to him. Why would people uh, send me something bad if I give out my address? I don't understand. Why would people use a fake picture? I don't understand. Why would somebody say something one thing and then do something else? I don't understand. Yeah, it's because you don't understand. It's because you don't understand. It's why everyone who goes on your stream constantly puts dicks and inflamed anuses in their photos. It's because you have no idea. People do it to me once. I'm like, yeah, Nicholas Gurr. We get it. Ray will just keep saying it over and over. You're oblivious. That's why people do it to you. People. Well, that's what's weird. Like, sometimes you text me like, hey, what's this? And then it's like no, someone's I, name from the, the chat I who I don't. When? Yeah, you do it. So it's all when? right. You're, I When's don't, the last time? I, if you do you want me to? Do you want yes, me to? Yes, the last the date. She's asking you. You threw out a thing that makes her look shitty, and now she's asking you for proof. Same thing my chat does to me all day. Patrick, Shuli is very clearly the spawn of Satan. Oh, yeah? What did he do? <laughs> you don't even know, man. And then you walk away. It's like, oh, okay. The last time I complained about a specific individual, because I guarantee it's been months. Months. And it was no, right Even today. Months. months and months. Uh-oh. So Ray's saying even today she was complaining about somebody in the chat. You text me something about Dr. Even today, you texted me something about Dr. Chow. Like, what I fucking that? know Dr. Chow. Oh, just, I said you're. I said, yeah, just like an hour ago, you texted me about, funny. like, I know what the fuck Dr. Chow's doing. But, like, I'm fucking on Dr. Chow's. Like, you're running against him. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Like, it's oh, not, you know, I'm just sticking with you, right? Well, come on. That's not a complaint about somebody. That's a, no, no, but I'm laughing. saying you brought up people's names that I don't know these people. I don't like, like you. So Ray's mad that names got brought up that he didn't know? What's the problem here? You I know. I know you so personally. Dumb. Nobody really wants to hear that. I don't want to hear this. Uh, Ray should write a book on flooding panties. Uh, <laughs> I love that sound effect. That, <laughs> that what was sound effect? You your flooding panties. Oh, or whatever it is. I don't know. Like, like, do you realize, like, I don't watch mostly just because I can't. I can't run, watch a lot of these podcasts. Where, That's why yeah. I'm telling you. I'm filling you in. Not So, Ray, Ray, this is the classic Ray move that's gotten him in trouble since the beginning. This is my first problem I ever had with him. Ray will run his goddamn mouth about a subject ad nauseum constantly. And then the minute you call him out on not knowing something or say he has something wrong or he's misrepresenting something, he washes his hands of the subject and claims to not be interested nor have time for it. It's like, so Ray was just adamant about getting into other podcasts and other podcast personalities and people to make Gary Jane look bad. You texted me before the show. No, you were you always want to bring up, you want to talk about this stuff. And then he brings up Dr. Chow. And Aries starts talking about it. And then and then he does the thing once Aries starts making points. He goes, I don't even know. I don't know these people. I don't know watch it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't watch it. I'm not I don't know it. I don't it's like whenever Ray thinks he's right or wants to be right or wants to make a point. 
He's happy to dip his toes and wade into any subject. The minute you push back and call him ignorant or a liar, he doesn't know and he doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. And it's like, whatever, I don't have time for that. It's below me. It's insane. Lance says, as someone who falsely identifies as a gay man myself, I can tell you that Ray is a 007 undercover queer. Confirmed. Got him. What? what, I find something else to talk about then. Let's see. Uh, No, she has to find something else to talk about that won't upset him. Don't upset Ray. Don't upset Ray. He's very, you know. He wants to tell it like it is until you tell him like it is. Then he wants to change the subject. Melton's just a fat fuck who can't get a pen and write any jokes. You're 50 and don't have anywhere to live or any savings to your name. All right. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> what would you like to discuss, Mr. DeVito? Well, David Scott. Imagine how sad it's going to be for whoever his next of kin is to head down to the safety deposit box and collect his four baseball cards and one unwrapped bobblehead when he dies. You know, some illegitimate child of his or something has to go. So this was my dad. This is that. What did he leave me? Ah, a bunch of Piazza cards and some gray steaks. Blogger just invited me to your wedding. <laughs> it's, you, it's you and him. <laughs> I don't know why he'd want to do that to himself, really, frankly. Any of these guys. <laughs> are crazy jason bentley what the fuck is happening ray i think i had something the other night i told he b and bob you should cut out the middleman and give the flowers directly to pat <laughs> yeah what's going on with you and pat dixon nothing is whoa he is jelly what's going on with me and pat dixon nothing is going on with me and pat dixon nothing why would you sing it like that Nothing is going on with me and Pat Dixon. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, here's the thing. This is she will never be satisfied. She will never be. Why I don't even bother. Like, I yeah, that was sad. weird. Like when I did, um, it's not. We I should be allowed to go on Pat Dixon's show. There I don't give a, a problem. fuck. I, 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 I never told in you. The world that decide that just because I talk with somebody and you want to like smash their like button. Like, it, it, it's so, it's... Just because I talk to someone doesn't mean I want to smash, smash their, their life button! That's funny. Who wants to smash Harry Jane's like button? Just part of being a chick. I know, whatever, it comes with the territory. It doesn't mean I don't get to get irritated by it because it's so stupid. And, like, if I, and I'm single, so it's like, if I had, if I had a husband be like, oh, you know, she's taken like, but it's like open season. I feel like a crouton thrown in a fucking fish pond, and I always see her mouth. So not other than that. Wow. So now she's saying, um, she's saying, I'm single. So what? She's throwing it out there. She's a crouton in a lake. Uh, because both Pat and Ray sing all the time. Oh, said Harry Jane. She's a crouton in a lake. You know what I hear when she says that? <laughs> Mama getting real wet. You try to put a crouton in a lake and see how wet it gets. And it's like, I don't know. It feels gross a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I imagine. That's why I said, like, don't cut. Look, I am. I got to break break down my character here. I'm fucking kidding around, obviously. Now, not that I wouldn't, you know, in a dark alley, go at Ari Jane pretty hard if nobody could hear her scream. But, um, no, she'll be. That is what it would be like if she came to this thing, I think. It would just be, like, dudes buzzing around her like fish flakes in an aquarium. Because I do, like, it. you know, when you, I, I, I don't want to talk too much about me and my sexual conquests and successes. I know everybody thinks I'm a big, fat, disgusting, gross man, but I do very well and always have. And I can't imagine, you know, when, when these guys come on screen who, I, you know, my entire life I've been fat and overweight. 
I don't consider myself a bad looking guy. And, and when I slim down, I actually am pretty handsome, symmetrical, have good features. I have a chin. I'm not, you know, sometimes two. I'm not disgusting. I'm tall. I have hair. You know, I'm a decent looking six if I lose 100 pounds. And I've always done really well with women. So when I see men who in my, you know, I'm, I have, you know, people talk about like a fat, fat girl mindset, like a fat girl who loses a bunch of weight. She always thinks she's fat. I have fat girl mindset, but fat guy mindset. And it never goes away. Like, cause I'm fat. So like, I always think of myself as fat. I think of other people as thin and me fat. Oh, always othering myself. I really have low. I know people can't imagine it because I talk so much shit on here. I, I, you know, I shrink up. You know, I don't want to be in the way of anybody. What do I deserve? You know, I'm shit. And when I see guys who I consider in shape physical specimens, like, or at least just more in shape than me, even somebody like Chad or something who everybody calls tubby and fat, like, to me, Chad's thinner or somebody like Ski Mask or Stancil. And then they these guys get drunk and go on their show and talk about, I haven't gotten laid in two years. It's like, holy shit. Holy shit. And when I was 400 pounds, I wouldn't not be getting laid ever, ever. Like I can't, and, and, and these guys want to, too. They talk about it all the time. Like, I'm going to go. We're going to go find some ladies. We're going to go get laid. It's like, if if Chad Zuma can't get laid and Ray DeVito can't get laid and Ski Mask or Stancil or, you know, whoever, and they're like normal looking guys, like, there's red flags. P girls are Girls are either like tuned into it or they're broken and have no game. And I like again, not to brag, like I never would have a problem ever. So many on the hook, you know what I mean? Years? Years. Over a year in your 30s without getting laid. Like, I don't, it can't be, it's not healthy. <laughs> like, you need to go blow it out. Melton start a fat camp. Chad head, Chad's head weighs more than you. I mean, I'm fat. Everyone is thinner than you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Years? If you want to get laid, it's pretty easy. Not saying it won't be degrading, but there are options out there. These guys have no game at all. I mean, really? Pat wears the weight very well. I mean, sometimes more than others, but whatever. Your game is your ability to speak. I mean, you really do. MGD says, stop having sex, everybody. It's gross. Guys, put it away. Put those little peens away. <laughs> everybody hates you, Lee. Uh, all right, let's watch a little more of this, and we'll wrap this up. Oh, we got a, a voice AI. Crouton floats, serene. Lakes ripples embrace its fate. A fish dance with delight. Two halves, crouton floats gently. <laughs> fish gather, eager for crumbs. Nature's feast unfolds. A wealth for fish, abundance flows. Nature's bread buffet. Get out of my crouton. Get out of my croutons. Ten more likes will ensure spaghetti to John and uh, beloved chatter don't get banned today. Hit that like button. Get us over two hundred. You're in charge of the thing. Listening. The um, I, I first of all, I mean, obviously you can go and hang out with Pat whenever you want. Wow, thanks for the permission. Go on his podcast. I don't give a shit. What I did not like was when I was on MLC Saturday night, and it, they were all throwing it back in my face, Pat included. That you I were had no on. control. I had zero. That is and, not my fault. And it was like, choices. Pat was hitting on Ari in front of Ray, and Ray's instinct was to run away. I'm going to go if you're going to talk about her like this. 
I'm going to go off the chat. It's going to make jokes about Harry. He can't take it. He thinks the, the sad part is like it's more insulting to her. He thinks she can't take it. Like, Ari's been married three times. She just summed up the exact situation um, pretty well. She feels like a piece of bread thrown into a pot. I don't know, a crouton. I don't know why we go through that trouble. Just bread. You think you're an artisan crouton? <laughs> okay. You're white bread at best. Okay? Not that there's anything wrong with that. But she feels like she's thrown in a pond and all, all that's coming at her is mouths. So she understands the situation. She's not stupid. She's been married three times. She has children, I I, I heard. And, like, she's a woman of the world. She's not retarded. She'll be fine. I, I imagine some guys would annoy her, but she'd be fine. Ray, Ray can't. Ray can't handle it. And it's got to be double annoying for her because it, it is ultimately insulting to her. It's condescending. He Ray's essentially going, I'll help, I'll help guide you through this. You're too fragile. You can't do it on your own. You need my protection. You need my hand. You need my guidance. And, like, that's just a complete misassessment of the situation. I... I you know, if you if you had to pick somebody to stand beside you and fist fight, Ray or Ari Jane, I'm picking Ari Jane. Ari Jane got a little bit of ratchet in her. Ray, I don't think, could use a ratchet if you gave it to him with an instruction pamphlet. You know, Ray, like Ray ain't <laughs> Ray ain't a person, much less a guy. He ain't there. You can be upset about that, but that has nothing to do with me. No, I don't care. You can go on the show. I a man should never make that noise Ray just made. Uh, uh, uh. You can be upset about that, but that has nothing uh, to do with me. Uh. Did you hear it? I was like, yeah. That you was can like, be upset about that, but that has nothing uh, to do with me. Uh. No, I don't care. You can go on the show. I told you, I'm. Just saying, I'm, I'm be mad at the right person. Yeah. You're done. Ray, Ray does the thing, too, where he constantly announces he's done with shit. Don't forget, four months ago, he came out with this whole thing like, I'm done having co-hosts. I'm going to do solo shows. It's like, yeah, yeah, you and Chad. Only then you realize you have nothing. You have nothing. He never did that, by the way. He never went and did solo shows. He immediately the next day had guests on. You are Chad. You just announce shit that you're never going to do. You make these big sweeping proclamations because they pop into your brain. I'm going to Minnesota and show up at Stony. It's going to get kicked out and it's going to go viral. Is it Chad? Is it Chad? That's two and a half weeks away, Chad. You better get booking it. Oh, wait, not going to happen. Can't wait to find out why. No, it's happening. It's happening. Right, right. I'm I'm done with that or giving a shit about that. And the only reason why I reached out to people. I'm done with giving a shit. I'm done with giving a shit. I don't care. I don't care. Well, before is when you reached out to me when you said you were upset with people. Uh and things things in the past so i was um, mostly and, upset with you <laughs> but you <laughs> never asked me. there you go i was mostly upset with you me to reach out to him um <laughs> you never asked me in your defense you never asked me to reach out to him was that was mostly about how i was pissed at you like but who, why are we even talking about this is so silly in in the past and i know there's a million things to oh, talk about. everything's in the past array nothing lands the reason it's coming up again, he doesn't remember the original conversation. Nothing was resolved. Nothing lands. He doesn't remember having this conversation. Everything is the first time to Ray. It's, it really is 51st dates. Uh, because you brought topics. People, 
No, who cares about to talk to people? Let's make us happy first. I had a Let's make us happy first, then you help the person next to you with their oxygen mask, huh? That's how the world goes round. That's the way I got. Um, Savannah Marie Crum, you're on the wall today. Also, the ghost of Mr. P and everyone's dead. Everything is on the wall. You know, Pat shit is extra gross because of the pork. Patrick always liked the plain wipe tees. The plain wipe tees. Carlos Bidet Danger. Oof. Imagine breaking a bidet. Ray is not trying to protect her. He's trying to protect Ray. He's trying to get her to protect Ray. Wow. Never really thought about it like that. Never really thought about it. It like that. Okay, I uh we'll get into this a little bit. The Shuli cult. <coughs> so someone sent sent me this uh Shuli cult. You know, everybody's like, Shuli's in a cult, his wife is in a cult. You gotta look into it, bro. No, you don't understand. Shuli's in a cult. His wife's in a cult. Oh, wow. Ian Hawk canceled his overdose. <laughs> Good riddance, you bitch. <laughs> um, Shuli's in a cult. His wife's in a cult. You know the cult. Join the cult. So somebody just sent me a link. Look, and again, I, I'm open. Okay. Shuli's in a cult. I'm listening. Do you think I don't want that content? Do you think if Shuli is in a cult and they're doing some crazy shit, I'm not going to be into it? Send it in. Sorry, Shuli. If you have dirt on Shuli, send it in. If you have dirt on Melton, send it in. If you have dirt on anyone, send it in. We love dirt. Agent O at nobodylikesonions.com. Send in your dirt. Um, if you think I don't want some sort of, you know, cult uh, nonsense on here, you are wrong. And someone sent me a link and they just go, just look into this. And I said, okay. Okay. We will just look into it. Let's pull it up. Access Consciousness. That's the name of this cult. Access Consciousness. Now, it sounds like some sort of new agey spiritual um, I don't know movement I guess is the word. Spaghetti Tooth John, it takes a village to raise Ray. It also takes a village to keep the likes up. Hit that like button. She gets it. Also, I think we're at we're uh, just over 900 uh, subscribers to the channel. We're trying to hit 1,000 now. I, I said if we hit 1,000, just keep raising the goal. Well, I never thought we'd get 800. And by the way, you know, if you don't want to, by all means, don't. But I said if we get to 1,000 before the end of the month, I'll do it 24 hours um, unencumbered constantly. How many memberships are we at? Just over 900 last time I checked. I think it was like 904 or something. But they roll off every day. The new ones come in every day. So um, it just depends. Send dirt. To the comedy cellar for Ray. <laughs> All right. Hit the like button. All right. Let's go to Access Consciousness website and see what it's all about. I'm in. Let's go. Um, It's always a bad sign. I will say this. When there's a sale on your cult. 
sale. Gary Douglas Manipulation 101 is now 40% off. First of all, they sell a book called Manipulation 101. Well, maybe Shuli is a Shuli. How many of you refuse to lie? How many of you tell the truth? How many of you lie to yourself all the time? What is this? What is Manipulation 101? This video, Telecall with Gary Douglas. Who's Gary Douglas? We'll give you tools to manipulate with greater ease and be aware of what people need to hear in order to make choices they need to be able to make. The whole idea of manipulation is about not getting everything you want by using people, but rather about seeing what actually works for different things, of being aware of what people need to hear in order to make the choices they need to make. Okay, there we go. So, you know, it's like, so what, you know, what point of view are you using? To These recordings are awful. So Shuli definitely didn't learn podcasting from this place because imagine if your shit sounded that good. So we have a uh, puppet strings manipulation 101. That doesn't sound too great. That doesn't sound too awful. This uh, feels like Scientology, but less fun. Maybe the ghost of Mr. P and Harry Jane's worn out box. I love how it changes. Hi, Melton. Hi, Chad. And raise moldy families. See you in AC. Why are they moldy? All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. About access consciousness. Chip Galloway gifted a membership. Thank you. What is access consciousness? Meet the creators. Find out how it works. Read what people say. Explore access. Own TV channel and get tips. Access empowers people to help themselves. It is available to everyone. Can be included in your life. Applied without outside help. The tools and techniques. This does seem Scientology-y. -y. Access college consciousness is based on the idea that you're not what you're that you're not wrong you know that you know and that consciousness can shift anything many modalities clear the limitations built around words access clears the energy underneath words this is very scientology going clear removing all the midi chlorians <laughs> To learn more about how Access works and hear Dr. Dane here, co-creator of Access, explain how the how of the clearing statement. Access consciousness is based on the idea that you know and that your choice is what will create your future. Like consciousness, we do not have a path for you. We have an infinite array of possibilities from which you choose anything that would be wonderful for you. What people say. Tens of thousands of people over 25 years have experienced yada, yada, yada. And then they sell access bars. The most relaxing, de-stressing, well-being technique you may have never heard of. Watch video. Okay, let's see what this is. Bars are 32 different points on the head. They're basically like hitting delete file on your computer bank. Bars are 32 points on a hat, like hitting a delete key on your what now? So, you know, garbage in equals garbage out. So when you have too much stuff on your computer, it sort of jams it and things don't work. So with this stuff, what it does is it eases off your brain waves so that you have a greater possibility of creating more. My first bars class was amazing. I went on first to the table, and I, I don't actually remember a lot. I, I re you ain't got those bars, bars. I remember having my head touched, and then it was just like this complete blank. I don't even know what I'm thinking right now. And I got off the table, and I, it was a lot of space, and then I, I um, actually got the opportunity to run bar Wait for John Taffer to come in hi I'm here for bars rescue I was on the other person and and getting off the table again she, she was used to be a man space. I was space we kind of looked at each other and went wow this is wild 
Bars is the first core class in access consciousness. So I had a bar session and um, a bars session. Oh, no. Between you having all that studio time in that business. Oh, y'all spitting bars? In my bars run and the verbal facilitation that she did with me over that hour and a half, I got off the table and I was like, whoa. Yeah, every time I leave after getting a pedicure, I feel renewed. I don't think it's some sort of spiritual journey. I was, I was speechless because what we were able to change and how I felt after an hour and a half was like a year with this other lady. The reason the bars... What does that even mean? You're just saying words. ...is a prerequisite for so many of the other access classes is because it's the first class where you actually learn to receive for most people. And so in that, the receiving element is so vital because if you're sitting in a class, for example, and you have much more capacity to receive, well, you get much more out of that class. If you're sitting across from a friend having a great... It, to me, it strikes me as more salesmanship than Scientology. They, like, it sounds like they don't even know what they're talking Like, the, the crazy thing about bars is, is that you're not only giving, but you're learning to receive. And I think it's that receiving that shines a light so much on the giving and the reception of the gifts that have been being given by the giver when you're receiving and you're open to the channels and you're really nourishing your body, you can understand how to receive the giving of the giving of the receiving. It's like Joey Tribbiani, we've heard the vows. <laughs> Holy shit. He's like, it's nothing. It's saying nothing. And by the way, I don't even have I don't even have uh proof. I don't even know if this is the thing that Shuli's wife is into or Shuli's into. I don't even know if this is the thing, but if th this is the thing, it is kooky. You're not wrong. I mean, we're 5 minutes into this and it's <whistles> out there. But if this is what truly is into, this stuff. And by the way, all the lines of this stuff heavily blur with religion and self-help programs across the board. I grew up religious. I grew up in a church. Again, Bible quizzing. If church was open, I was there. Wednesday nights. Sunday morning. Sunday nights. Saturday night contemporary service. Youth youth group bullshit, revivals, retreats, camp, all of it. I was heavily embedded in the Christian church. I know firsthand all these language tricks and techniques. And by the way, you know, there's a lot of truth in a lot of it. There's a lot of this stuff that like is common sense, real, actual you know, psycho babble that makes sense and has practical applications. Yeah, you control your destiny. You take chances. You, yes, man, say yes to things, and your your world will expand. The people you know will expand. Take chances. Say yes. Control your destiny. Be confident in your decisions. You know, be purposeful in your actions. Make goals. Make plans. Take action step. You know, all this. Sure, sure, sure. A hundred percent. You know, you could you could read seven habits and and pick up a lot of this stuff. You can go to a church and get a lot of this stuff. You can join a group like this and get a lot of this stuff. It isn't insane. Like the I'm sure there's a lot Scientology has a lot of like useful information. They're not wrong, you know. The people who, who are go-getters are the ones who wake up and go get. So at, at its core, you know, the motivation part of it, the the giving people the tools to kind of like unlock their brain and free themselves to to try to strive to be better, yeah, that part's, you know, 
not even harmless, maybe helpful for some people. The, the problem is thinking that this stuff is like one size fits all or that anybody could step into this and get it and, and have it be the same. You know, that's where it gets a little wonky for me. Thanks for joining the maestro. Appreciate it. Chip Galloway, gifted membership to make up for when Ian Hawk cancels when we get close to 1K. Well, I missed the answer earlier. What's the number right now to secure the 24-7 stream? Well, there's no, it's a 24-hour stream. I'm not doing 24-7. Do you think I'm streaming for a full week? Um, the number's 1,000. Last time, Again, last time I checked, it was just over 900, but I don't know. I'll give you an update later on Twitter or Discord or tomorrow or Thursday or whatever we do. Also, I'll say this. Uh, if Shuley and wife are embedded into this, whatever this is, community, belief system, cult, I'm gonna say it's I'm gonna say it's probably fine simply because it's the first I've heard about it. Let me explain. If Shuley was like every show promoting this or like hitting me up personally and being like, I think you might be interested in access consciousness. If he was recommending books to me and sending referral codes or <laughs> I might go, yeah, okay, and step back a little bit. I'll tell you this. If you want to go be a part of this, whatever this is, self-help system, um, you know, for all I know, this is the goddamn Friars Club. For all I know, this is Toastmasters International. I don't I don't know. It looks kooky and cornball. You guys want to rub each other's foreheads and pretend like your life's changed? Knock yourselves out. Um just say you'll do it and I'll gift the 100 now. <laughs> Hold on. Well, it's at least a hundred memberships. Because we've only had three today. Yeah, so you said that's five hundred dollars though. Yeah, you Venmo me five hundred dollars. I'll I'll guarantee we do it today. Before I get off the show, I'll say it. Don't get don't even give the memberships. Just send me if you if you're gonna throw up five hundred, just send me the five hundred. Fuck your memberships, dog. I'm not Aaron. I don't care if you get my content or not. Lock it down. If you send me $500 on Venmo before the end of the show, I'll guarantee it. So now put your money where your mouth is, you fucking cuck. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, civil sites is in the EG. Cool. So it's like, with the, I'm a member um, of Access Consciousness. I remember going to their headquarters and some large, the, you know, redneck man gave me something called bars. And I, I got really sleepy and like laid down. And then we just all like, it sits so like Kalama. Before I knew it, I was waking up like, very sore and i couldn't remember anything like you so like my brain had been rebooted get out of my bars literally i think um when it comes to cults what i consider a cult is something like uh heaven's gate or the branch davidians you know where it's uh corrosive and it needs to feed itself. It's got to recruit. It's got to pull in new people. It's got to, it needs it to survive. It's, it almost has to, people have to be born in, you know, it's like, it's, it's, uh, you don't have free will. You can't leave. You can't stop. This is like access bars. They have things on, on how to teach access bars. They want you to buy books and programs. You know, Scientology is a little like this on the outside. There's a lot of pamphlets and programs and tears and clearing the bridge to the next level and all that kind of stuff. This place, 
access consciousness seems like it's much smaller level. But they're just selling their books and their courses. And it's kind of the same promises a little bit of Scientology. Create a life you love. Get control of your life. It's about, you know, Scientology is about almost killing the emotional part of your mind and teaching you to to make balanced cognitive choices that are rooted in a place of actuality and not emotion. It's letting go of that emotional toxic side of the brain that causes you to be reactive and make decisions that aren't good for your own future and to see things clearly and block out all that stuff. Like, that's kind of the same vibe here. And again, if Shuli and his wife are in this and it works for them and it's making their life better, you know, I don't know. What the fuck? I, I don't know. I don't know. Do I think it's kook balls? Sure. I don't keep crystals around my house. Unless they're those little cheeseburgers. Crystal with a K. Um, it's cornball kook, kook shit. But I also think believing in Jesus is cornball kook shit. I, I, I'll i tell you, if I walk into your house and you have that cross with Jesus on it on your wall, that makes me more uncomfortable than if you have uh, some geodes sitting on a shelf. It, really, really. Because, look, you may believe that those those geode crystals give you um, good vibes and balance your life and keep toxicity away and, you know, run out demons from your whatever the fuck. It's like the other one is a dead body on a cross hanging there. Yeah, Christianity is normal. Drink God's blood and eat his body. Totally normal. I mean, right. So I, I'm just giving you a full perspective. Is like I, church is weird, dog. Regular, quote unquote, American Christianity is weird. Baptists, Episcopalians, all of it. It's all weird. You're reading texts. You're, uh, you know, uttering incantations. You're singing songs, washed in the blood of the lamb. You know, you're all doing that. What's weirder? Take control of your life, learn what questions to ask the universe to get what you want out of it, or washed in the blood of the lamb. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's both of it's weird what you grew up with the one. Amazing when we've been here 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun. You'll never be around 10,000 years. You got a minute and then you're going to die and sink into the worm soil. So what are you singing again? Blood, lamb, eat, Christ, God, Savior, cave, rock, sins. Died, blood, nailed, cross, crowns, crystal. It's all nuts. <laughs> it is all nuts. No, no, no. I believe in a guy in the sky that I pray to when I'm on a bumpy airplane ride. That's normal, but crystals and trying to take control of your life, bridge too far for me. So do you see? Do you see what I'm saying? Like in in a lot of ways, access consciousness and Scientology. Not that I'm lumping them together. I know nothing about this. Are more sane than Christianity. At least when they lure you into the Scientology Center. Shalama Korabani, Rendoshala Zabarenu, Talamende, Yaramashi. Berendaka Germondi Javarek Kai Shikantu Menoresti Vara Kenda Al Mazuri Kilantro Doramaki. Good point, <laughs> Butch Bradley. Yeah, you know, I I just like it's all time, and I've watched and I've seen regular religion and church ruin children, ruin families. It can all be taken to an unhealthy level. 
Wow. You didn't really do that, did you? <laughs> All right. Um... We'll be doing a 24-hour show. Um, I just got $500 Venmo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Me and my dumb mouth. 24 fucking hours. 24 hours. Why is Patrick trying to convince us of access consciousness? I'm just saying it's all the same. I, you know, even, uh, I would say that people in my life who belong to regular churches and typical religions are more annoying. I've never heard of access consciousness till this was, I was told to, uh, look this up. Chip Galloway, 500 cent baby. I'd like to have a say in the day. Yeah, send me an email. Let me know what your thoughts are. We'd love to give you a say in the day. A say in the day? Shalama Korobani, Rendushala Zabarenu, Talamende, Yaramashi, Berendaka Germondi Javarekai, Shikantu Menoresti, Vara Kenda Al Mazuri, Kilantro Doramaki. Uh, don't upset the religious people, they're the most vengeful. Well, look, so, you know, and then you got this Brandon Network guy who, by the way, is now commenting on videos yesterday. Just now, another comment on a video by the Brandon Network. So he's around. He's knocking around. He's listening. He's paying attention. Brandon Network, call in and make a coherent statement. What's going on? You know, it's we've watched the Leah Remini shows. We've seen the, the toxicity in that community. We've heard... The horror stories, the people locked up, prisoners, the brainwashing, the control. all We've heard the horror stories. We believe the horror stories. We know. We know there are people who have gotten out of that Scientology situation who are permanently scarred and damaged from that stuff. Is Access Consciousness doing the same thing? Are they following the Brandon Network? Did they move his neighbor out, move a neighbor in, and put put uh, um, cameras in the trees? Or did that guy just see that on that HBO documentary going clear because that's what they did? Scientology did do that. They bought a house next to a guy they were trying to keep tabs on, move people in, and put cameras in the trees. But did he just see that and then think that's happening to him? Because that's what I think. You know, it, it seems like, you know, when someone can't present their case in a logical, concise way, when I just turn on and it's just you shakily filming blurry lawnmowers in, in portrait mode with your camera configured wrong, going, got you all. Got you, motherfuckers. We're all like, what? You got a lawnmower and a truck on video. We don't know what you're talking about. And you come back on. You're like, I got all the license plates. I got all you motherfuckers. We know who you are. We're coming for it. It's like, what? <laughs> Mental patients see tree people. I'm a cult study as hobbyist, and I'm loving this. The nicest butt I ever saw, this 18-year-old dude from Minnesota, this 15 years ago, his butt was spectacular. Couldn't stop staring. Okay. Neither here nor there, but I'm here for it. That's big baller spy shit. Scientology might actually rule. But they have the money and resources and billions of dollars. This is access consciousness. There's no, like, what? They're not following you around and moving people in and out and hiring. And, and by the way, if they are, prove it. Shoot a video where you're not blasting ACDC and shaking the camera so much we can't tell what's going on. Prove it. I'm here. The chat's here. We're all ears for it. We're into it. Beloved chatter, I'm in, I looked into this access consciousness org. It's not a cult or an MLM scan. 
but you can spend a ton of money doing it if you want. Yeah, to me, it reeks of self-help. You know, a, a, a Scientology is a religion. They believe in Thetans, and they they believe, you know, that there's an L. Ron Hubbard and on a planet, and you're going to get a travel and Xenu and all, you know. It gets cuckoos magoos. And I realize that stuff's not on the main page of the Scientology website either. Who knows how deep this rabbit hole goes, but, you know, uh, you got to show me. Is it a weird group to be a part? Sure, sure. But again, if you tell me you go to a Baptist church, I think you're a fucking weirdo. These guys seem seem to be at least after practical results. These are called create a life you love. Make your own decisions. You know, take reign over your success. Like, all that sounds pretty good. What does church promise you? Everlasting life and a stale cracker? No, thanks. No, hear me out. You have to wake up really early on Sunday mornings. I'm all set. Access consciousness, I could probably roll in at 4 p.m., take a meeting. Access consciousness is a satellite company of Walt Disney. That would be great. I don't believe it for a minute, fake citizen, but that would be very funny. This group doesn't strike me as a cult either, but you'd have to join and go deep to find out. Yeah, I mean, like Scientology, there are people on the surface level of Scientology, and they, you know, have no idea what's going on at the gold base and, and and Sea Org and all these other insane branches. Sam V, this Axis Con is why Shuli is so smug and feels like he's the best and funniest. It's a place that gives you false hope, and Shuli is proof of this. But there is an act as if, you know, like there's an, a, 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 a facet of me that comes on here and acts like I'm better than everybody. And, like, it is... You do have to do it. My my chat is hate, hate, hate all day. I got to rise above that. I got to come in here and go, no, you're all idiots, and I know what I'm talking about. How do I know that? You're all listening to me. So there is something. It's not, it's not wild. We're not all gathered around Sam V twiddling his little balls. No, no. Everyone's gathered around Melton to hear what Melton has to say. I am superior. I am above. I am greater than. I am more than you. Sorry. Wow. He's really full of himself. But do you see what I just did to prove a point? When I leave here, I, I am crushed. I am crumbled. I cry. I get into a fetal position and sob for hours in the shower. My, I'm insecure, and it melts away the minute the camera goes off. But I have to come in here with a little bit of a facade and act like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Or else, what is it all for? Or else I might as well just go live at 10.04 like Ray and go, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? You know what I mean? You see the difference? Now Patrick's above all the hate. Yeah, pretty much. Is Chad's nautical hat a coded message to C Org? <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to stop yelling at me. All pray to Melton. How do you know the size of men's balls? You don't want to know. I have a chart. How do you know the size of men's balls? They're all the same. They're all the, yeah, you put them in your mouth and you measure volumetrically. At least that's how I do it. How do you do it, weirdo? Have you been walking around measuring men's balls with a, with a piece of string the old-fashioned way? Seven centimeters. And by the way, if your balls are anything like mine, they fluctuate wildly. Again, uh, I don't know if I need to bring this up every six months, but if you Google Patrick's balls, you'll find a photo of my nuts. That's real. It used to be the first result. But my SEO guy is really slipping, and it's hard to get nuts to trend. I bet you do have a chart melting, cough, water displacement is the only way to gauge balls. No, no, no. You can do it with a... With a uh, 
piercing gun, too. Get it? Gauge balls. Hello! <laughs> Cows don't have balls. Now you're lying. I already canceled my NLO YouTube membership. Someone give me more members so I won't be missed. Someone give more members. Why? Wow. Ian Hawk's leaving? So Ian Hawk canceled his overdose subscription. Now he's leaving NLO. And we just made him a mini mod too, but somehow he hacked it. And now he has control of our whole Discord. Ian Hawk somehow now is the main mod of our Discord. And we have no control over it. He took it over. I think him and uh, some of the other terrorists. Jesus, this morning I didn't think it would go any lower than wiping. Well, how could it go any other way? Especially when you wipe back to front. Are you When you measure the balls, are you counting all the shit caked onto them? From wiping back to front, or how does it work? Melton took the egg McMuffin, and gave it to his disciples, and now said, take all of this and eat it, for this is my body. Just cold eggs. Anyway, if, uh, if look, I'm willing to look into Shuli. We're going to expose him. We're going to be going after this cult. We're going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to find... Find the bits that deserve to be found and uh, rip them out with our teeth and replant them in a separate garden. <laughs> um, What do we want to end on today? What do we want? Is Brian Johnson still listening by any chance? Brian Johnson, if you're listening, can you just type in the chat? If you're listening, if not, I'm going to save this piece. For maybe uh, Thursday or Friday. Just a quick recap to reset real real fast too. Hit the like button. Join the uh, overdose. Pick up something at our store. Nobody likes com slash store. Uh, thank you for supporting the show. And Thursday, you do not want to miss. Thursday is going to be epic. The full uh, video from the court hearing of Butch Bradley and I. It's it's. So insanely cringe, you cannot imagine. And I know you've seen seven minutes of it, so you think you even begin to understand. It's rough. It's rough. Uh, Sam V, it's extremely hard uh, to explain to you, Melton, how we feel about Shuley, because you aren't a Howard Stern fan. Any of you Shuley fans are Howard Stern fans, and that's a fact. Yeah, I mean, look. You're you're not wrong, and I and I can appreciate that and understand it. You have a a longer, more storied, and more detailed picture of who Shuli is than I do. A hundred percent. But I would also ask, and and this is especially poignant for a lot of you fucking young spurgs on the internet. You know, people change. People are allowed to have redemption stories. People are allowed to reinvent themselves. People are allowed to uh, pivot to other careers and become other people. And who knows? Maybe Shuli was a hack, loser piece of shit on the Howard Stern show. Let's say he was. Maybe. Then he found up... um, then he found out access consciousness and started improving his life and taking control. And now he owns a co- and like it or not, whatever you want to say about Shuli, it's like he's got thousands and thousands of subscribers to the network. He's paying several people. I just like I just look at now. I just look at now. It's the same way like everybody like if. People literally say to me, like, if you can't see, if you can't just look at Stevie Lou and tell he's a giant piece of shit, then I'm done with you. It's like, well, bye. I don't look at people and tell, I mean, I'll say it all night and day. Look at this guy. What a giant piece of shit. It's not real. We don't judge people by looking at them. We judge people by how they act. Now, have you seen how Stevie Lou acts? What a giant piece of shit. No, I can't, but it's like, like, 
ski mask every time he's called in here has been nice to me and cordial and and shall get that in return from me. Now, then he drinks and goes off on the Internet. That's a different story. Um, Shuley may not be a joke creator, but he's a job creator. I mean, that's that's part of it. I think you're being too hard on him about the jokes. I, like, look, I don't have a high expectation. I come in in this universe. The BS show is more creative and has bits and content and seems to flow like a morning show should. The BS show flows better like a morning show than the Steel Toe morning show, which is one of the craziest things ever. And 24 hours, dog. You're not ending crap, Patrick. You're doing 24 hours, remember? I mean, no, I'm not. You can't listen. You, your ears are broken. That's that's on you. I'll let you figure it out, what's happening. Um, But, yeah, of course, it's like, uh, it's like when you start dating a girl that your friend or some, you meet somebody later who dated the same person. They're like, well, it was a disaster for me. And you're like, well, I love them and we're happy. You're never going to convince the person who dated them before and had a bad experience that they're a different person or they're good to you or it works with you guys. No, they they dated them when they were on the Howard Stern show, and now they have all these preconceived whatever. So you may be, I mean, we we both can be right. Will you Will you see it that way? You have a different, more complete picture of Shuley than I do. What I all I know of Shuley is this universe. Shuley's never been anything but kind to me and, and and reasonable and nice. Shuley's offered to help me in any way he could. Shuley's done nice things. For, now you could argue that he's a snake and he's trying to win me over. From, I, I I understand all that. He's just doing it because of Kevin. He's he was nice to me before Kevin. And by the way, when I started on Kevin's show, him and Shuley weren't, like, not getting along. You know, this is all, if it's anything, it's like, well, now we hate this guy. Now we hate this guy. And we're not, when are you going to turn on this guy? When are you going to turn on this guy? It's like, if anything, I just don't go with the extreme hate or extreme love of people. And I kind of sit in the middle and go, like, everybody's fine. Everyone's, just, like, Ski Mask is fine. Stevie Lou's fine. Carl's fine. I'm fine. Chad is fine. They're allowed to be idiots. They're allowed to be different levels of devious or evil. You know, Ch Chad is far more deceptive and cunning and uh, malicious. You know, Chad, I believe, doesn't give a fuck if he hurts people than Ray. But at the end of the day, they're both fine. Neither one of them can fucking hurt me. Neither one of them power over me. Kevin's fine. Julie's fine. Do they do things I don't like? Absolutely. Do they do things I do like? Yes. Everyone is just fine. They all do things I don't like, just like me. I'm sure I do things you don't like. Cover things you don't like. Talk about things you don't like. Say things you don't like. Sure. And then I do things you do like. So the conclusion is Patrick's fine. It's fine. It's not great. It's not the worst. Um, Shuli is a nickname, by the way, pretty sure. Shuli is a super piazza. Sure. He's tricking you through your stomach and me. I mean, it just shows what little respect you have for me. Or, or maybe it shows how dumb you are. Maybe you're so dumb. A box of steak shows up at your day. I'll, I'll cook the steak and talk shit about Shuli while I eat it. But Why? Um, just bearful. Be careful with Shuli. Don't ruin your brand with that snake weasel. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. It's the same thing you guys all said with Chad and everybody. Else. It's like, oh, he's in bed with Chad. He's got an alliance with Chad. Never did. Never was in bed with Chad. Never was in business with Ch ne Never. Any of that stuff. So when Chad turned on me or went against me or whatever, it doesn't affect me because I don't. I had nothing put into the Chad basket. I have nothing put into the Shuley basket. I have nothing put into the Kevin Brennan basket. I don't anticipate any issues with those people because I don't call. 
Don't start no shit. There won't be no shit. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. So occasionally there's some shit, but, you know, TSA and turn everything into wrestling. What's that mean? What was Shuli's tagline on Stern? You heard it a hundred times every day when the news played. I didn't listen to Stern. All these Shuli fans weren't Howard fans. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Maybe he doesn't have Howard fans. Maybe Howard fans hate Shuli. Maybe that is it. I hated Shuli on Howard, so I hate Shuli now. Okay. Um, Chad discovered you. Shuli is short for Shalamit. It's an Israeli name. It's cope season, I see. Be more specific. I believe it's a bucket, not a basket. Jared, my cock ring practice is not up to par. Okay, a lot of crosstalk. Howard fans hate Howard. You're, you absolutely were in business with Chad. Stop lying. You just threw a fit when you when he said he didn't know who you are. That's, okay. Well, I mean, this guy's just a troll. <laughs> when you don't believe what you say, like, how can I genuinely, like, I'm happy to answer any questions, but you can't be retarded. People have no understanding of anything and think they know everything. Like, you guys don't know. I, I, woo, I'm going to be quiet. You guys don't know shit. Um, Savannah Marie Crum, Justice for Savvy. I got nothing going on 24 7. Can, so you can do the 24 hour show any day. Thank you. Yeah, I never said I was doing it today. Um, Patrick Mountain Shuley's sign off was Shalom Biatch. That's the shittiest sign off. He was trying to be shocking and funny. Why would Shalom be f- shocking? Uh, I'm a how- hardcore Howard guy. I spent five years recently watching nothing but Stern Show. I would listen to some over and over. This is the best commercial for Rustic Steak. Rustic Steak. I haven't had one of the steaks yet. What if they're bad? What if they're really bad meat? You know what I mean? Um, what I, I don't understand about Rusty Cuts is like they're not. They came like just in um, plain vacuum sealed. Con, you know, like vacuum sealed steaks. When I order from other online meat play wild fork is a big company they have retail stores and they sell online and that's where i buy all my stuff from it's like usda certified it tells me whether it's select or choice or prime tells me whether it's black angus or how how aged it is or you know all the details i get it i get steaks from rustic cuts it's like you ain't kidding rustic cuts it's like Literally like a sirloin in a paper bag. Like, shh, don't tell nobody I gave this to you. <laughs> it's like, is this safe to eat? They're really cat meat. The steaks are laced with cult Kool-Aid. A uh, longtime stern guy here. Surely was harmless. Annoying for sure. Uh, but far from this weasel he's made it out to be. Surely sucks. I grew to hate him after. Why are you hating? You know what I mean by when people say that? It's like, you hate him? It's like, I don't hate Chad. Like, I don't like Chad. I'm never going to do anything with Chad. But, like, hate? Here's your here's your specialty. Let's get a review on Rustic Cut. Uh, it's Rustic from reselling shit from the farmer's market. It's the neighbor's pet's. Shuli sucked on Stern. Why would anyone care? Yeah, I mean, it's it's like it's like Chad saying that he used to be on a big radio show and used to have a condo and used to have a car. It's like, well, now you don't have any money and you're in an apartment you couldn't afford if you had to get it on your own. So what are we talking about? <laughs> you know, 
It's like, oh, uh, Melton was a loser in high school. It's like, what's your clock set to, everybody? Melton just yells at you. This guy gets it. It's a prerequisite to be a hater in the community. Yeah, but that's why I got, like, it's too, I, all those crazy, like, brainwashed One Direction fans, and not fans of the band One Direction, but who, who just, like, can't uncement their brain from this fixed orientation of how they feel about somebody. It's like the same people telling me like Casey Armstrong's a respected member of the community. It's like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure he's a out of it dummy, but I'll keep watching and we'll see. Um, you used to have a radio career. Now you have an army helmet and a criminal record. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> uh, so we're going to be doing this 24-hour show. This is what I got to figure out now. Now this is definitely... I thought I had like a week or so. Um, But you wanted to buy it outright, the privilege? Fuck. So we got to figure out when we're going to do that. Um, Let me look at a calendar here. Let's pull up a calendar. End of the month feels good, right? Doesn't the end of the month feel like a good time to do a 24-hour stream? Maybe like, uh, should we do like a, oh, fucking hell. How do we do it? Do we go overnight? Do we go, do we start in the morning and go to the morning? Do we start at the night and go to the night? Midday to midday. I'm looking at like the 28th. That's next Friday. Not this Friday. Next Friday. July 28th. Maybe do we, maybe we do it July 31st. We'll do it on a Monday. Chip Galloway says no rush. Well, you're look, you're a producer now. This is all your fault. Um so please uh get me your thoughts on what you want me to do. Smoke the rest of cuts on the 24-7 stream. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. I'll do my, I'll get my uh, my remote mic. We'll see if that can work. We'll get the remote camera. We'll see if that can work. Start stop time. What does that mean? Anybody outside of Moody, Carlos, beloved chatter, Mountain proceeds is having some, the same credibility as Dr. Chow. I mean, that's not true. There are guys who, like, have proven themselves as nothing but trolls, but you also have to know, like, Citizen M, whether you're the real or fake one, like, fake Citizen M's troll all the time. Fake Nobody Likes Onions troll all the time. No one should take Nobody Likes Onions seriously when they come into your chat room because it's not me, probably. Most of the time, it is not me. On Kevin's show, on Carl's show, on Ray's, it's not me in general. Have a full studio. Yeah, man, we'll get some guests. Snipe stream an old episode of NLO. We we'll probably have plenty of time to do that, I can imagine. Do it 817 and end it when you get to AC. Yeah, so I'm just exhausted the whole time. I'm jet lagged. That'd be great. What's the name of the place you order meat from? Wild Fork. I think it's wildforkfoods.com. Can we watch your first show ever? There's no video for the first several hundred shows, you know. We started uh, podcasting before moving pictures. You know what I mean? Um, okay, I, I had a little surprise maybe for tomorrow. You know, there's no Wednesday show. I'm taking Wednesdays off. But I was thinking about doing one tomorrow. But if I do do one tomorrow, Thursday is going to be epic. It's the court show. Y you want to be here for that. If you can see one show this week, I recommend Thursdays. Friday, again, I'm giving you a heads up on the art art uh, project. Butch Bradley court, court uh, drawings. Butch Bradley court sketches. Courtroom sketches of Butch Bradley. Um, that's the assignment for Friday. Post those in the Discord or email them to me at Patrick at nobody likes .com. Thank you to the Galloway for making this chore happen for me. 
that I have to now plan out and uh, contend with. But I thought about doing a very special surprise tomorrow morning. But if I do, do tomorrow morning, um, I don't think some people will like it. Because it, it would be a Wednesday, and I have nothing really planned for it. And what do we do on Wednesdays when there's no plan? We go a little wordless. So I thought about maybe doing a wordless Wednesday tomorrow. It's been two months. Last Wednesday of the month. We do a wordless Wednesday tomorrow. So I don't have to plan shit. I can literally just wake up and sit in here. And you guys make me laugh. Or we don't do it at all. Or we just come in here Thursday. Hold on. Worthless Wednesday. Um, Ugh, I need audio. Forget it then. People hate it. Four hours of buzzard bob. The things we learn in silence. Take the day off. Vaping Dago says take the day off. He hates me. You see the way he talks to me to Kevin Brennan? I'm just a number one son. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit him yet. They're full blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit him yet. They're full blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you did for if you listen to the show, boy Patrick Melton, Melton faces have you stacking that low point. It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. It'll make the taco pony party be a party of soul. To make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker so bold. The family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got N. Loaned. Other radio shows are straight bitch male prone Talk shit on the onions that nobody like past Have my homeboy lame prank call him fast Have him thinking that he hates him Like right before he berates him And the way that he baits him I put him right on blast Like Patrick is an asshole and his show won't last And every time I called in he treated me like trash He would abuse and berate me for the sake of some laughs And the worst part was when he fucked your mother I think the Biden administration was just getting tired of getting kicked in the dick by the Supreme Court. Like you had Roe v. Wade, student loans, affirmative action, gay websites. I mean, they just keep getting punched in the fucking head. And so- oh, and by the way, um, you know, the the most outraged group on the affirmative action thing was, uh, was Bonus again, time. I think, like, largely white people. Well, yeah, and then there were white people in the media saying shit like, well, how are somebody said it was gonna be a good sp- begging session? So it's like we gotta watch a begging session. We gotta watch a begging session, right? And I'm like, on merit, they'll be fine. They'll get into college. They will earn it. it can you just say that the way that it's forty-three watching? So I mean, like they just all day we beat them. All day we beat them. Three hundred forty-four. They have fallen, man. Woo. Rough. <laughs> this is so bad. And now I, I want these people segregated. That, no, I never. Where's their total? How come it's not pinned to the top? 205. Become a 2.6 percenter for Johnny, man. So he's still using that for Johnny, even though Johnny gets 50 bucks or whatever. Someone could get an AI and not even like, because, dude, there's a thing on Twitch that I watch all the time that's Joe Biden versus Donald Trump having yeah. an ongoing debate. And it's, oh, it's yeah. Toucan Sambo loves this. He lives for uh, getting steel toe. He makes so many clip videos. Toucan Sam, or as he's now going by, Mass Neck 2. Could actively have <laughs> AI Aaron. So AI I, Aaron Imholt. I'm looking uh you, you said but you said the clip He thinks that's new. They know we have AI Aaron Imholt. No, 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 but my my point is the clips exist, but we could tune into always live AI Aaron Imholt who's just a, you know, misogynist like this. AI Aaron Imholt like this. 
You forgot the trans people? Let's talk about trans people. It's all I see on my social media, almost as if I engage in nothing but topics about transgenders. Leave me alone, Patrick. Don't you have Shuli to Ray on this morning? Silly Melton, I know you're pre-coming over the thought of losing our channel, but you can't stop me. I'll fucking stream everywhere. Facebook, Kick, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, Pluto TV, MySpace, 86.9 FM, Hope Opla, Canopy, Crackle, Tubi, and Fandor. You like them apples? Eyes indeed. All right, here we go. This is where it gets ugly. We're going to sing for our supper, beg away to uh, even out the books here, fire up the gospel music, bring out the offering plate. Oh, I forgot he does this now. This is even worse. A change to the steel toe. Plays the black music. This is so racist and condescending. Will. Oh, here we go. Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chats, Membership. 205 away. Avril says, this part is why I come here. Well, let's start throwing it in. A couple of coins, a couple of dollar bills. Look at, look at that. Just a couple of nickels and a couple of dimes. A couple more nickels and dimes for the steel toe to go an extra half hour today. Holy hands up to Jesus, y'all. Let's get started. This is going great. Wow, Rumble Rants, YouTube, 205 bucks away. I don't like the look of it. Fill up that offering plate, brothers and sisters. Do I go with uh, scruffy voiced preacher today, or do I go? I gotta turn the music down so Johnny can. Uh, I can hear you. Be part of this. There we go. Hacker, oh, hacker. Turn it down, they won't be able to hear you. All right. Off we go. Here we are. Friendo says, show some skin. 200 bucks away. Beloved Chatter starting us off with 199. Says, I'm a poor, but here's a little something. Oh, it just Beloved takes a little Chatter. To knock this <laughs> thing out. Friendo says, He doesn't even count your $2. The $2 doesn't even go towards a goal. $2 chats don't count for anything. That's the quit. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do this. I'm working on my preaching. Matthew Jenkins. With $10, says preach. Preach the word of the steel toe, Mr. Jenkins. Diane Poo with five bucks, says Johnny rattles my cans. That's assault, brother. 190 away from knocking it out on the old steel toe today. Super Chats, memberships, Streamlabs and PayPal, y'all. A little bit of rumble to keep this ship afloat. I mean, he's just we gonna let you give just the tip, but salvation starts at the base. <laughs> and we can shoot that sweet goo of e beggar deliverance to an extra half hour of this. There's program. five gifted membership. Let's see how much he takes off. Until we wrap up today, missing our goals. One eighty away. Yeah. Union Jack with five gifted memberships over there on the YouTube. Thank you, Union Jack. Potato Head, Corn Diff, Poop is Lube, Granny Loves Anal, and Mick M. Rick M, excuse me, that was racist. All getting themselves some memberships. 180 away from knocking out today's goal. Stream How much did he take off for those memberships? 20 bucks? Says, I'm not Negro rich, but my gums and my... <laughs> See, like, every day it's racist. This should be striked again. Rumble Friday, we'll get to Hobo Chili Recipe, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. 180 away from knocking it out this morning. And two minutes left to go. Two minutes and 15 seconds to fill up this offer and play. God is hot and cool. Kicking in $75 over there on PayPal. 75 away. So 105 away from knocking it out. Long Rod Van Huge Dong says, Lord, deliver us another 30 minutes of steel toe. Your lips to God's ears. And that's going to put us $95. Imagine doing this every day and failing. Five away from knocking it out. Citizen M with 199 says, God is hot and cool. Amen. Friendo says, which one is Royce and which one is Pessy? Oh, man. Off we go 
We're in the double digits. Come on, David Chandler. Get over there. You gave all your money to Ray last night? Get it going. Sisters. Not too much longer left to go. Praise the show indeed. Not too much longer left to go. 95 away. Mad Joe with 99 cents. Everybody can trip in just a little bit to the old steel toe. Here we go. Here we We're go. Save the show and your soul. Well, at least the show. At a minute show. to go. Flimsy. A minute left in this can rattling for bonanza. Flimsy Greenberg says that spirit has taken me to the roof, and you're a Jew. So that's incredible, Flimsy. 90 bucks away from knocking this out. Wow, he only counted five. So you donated 10 on YouTube, he only counted five. He gets seven. He had 95. Flimsy Greenberg gave 10, and somebody else gave a dollar, and he goes, all right, now 90 away. He went from 90 to 90 after getting 11 95 to 90 after getting $11. That just happened. We all saw it. Jesus, for that last $90 in that beautiful. He only counted. So he's not. So now he's doing the thing where he counts less, even less than he gets. He may have died. There it is. It's the end times. Failed again. Oh, boy. How does he spin it to a win? Let's hear. Oh, we'll get it on makeup. Uh, rest of the hit refresh on everything because we are 90 bucks away. Uh, let's go to the PayPal and Streamlabs as Johnny fucking spasms over there on the screen. I'm trying to get this thing to stop making me fade into the background. It's oh, weird. Lord. Kevin, the altar boy with $50 this morning. And we are Holy doing Jesus. 30 minutes of overtime, 40 bucks away from today's goal. We got inside of 50. Amazing. Edward, so now that's a win. That's a win now. He plays He plays the applaud sound when you get within 50 now. There's nothing else in the world where you get close to doing it and get credit for doing it. There's nothing else in the world that works like that. It, it is wild. Why don't you go buy yourself a shirt or something? Okay, bye.